we will always be dead silent until I can see the live stream on the YouTube. Fun, right? Hello everyone, it is that time of the week again. I hope you enjoy this lovely meme because it is related to Risk of Rain 2, which is going to be the game that we are playing tonight. And I, I do mean we. It's going to be me and Cookie for you playing Risk of Rain 2, and it's going to be an amazing time. Okay, <laughs> what's that ugly face? So, <laughs> to just briefly explain, so the little blue like orb thing underneath the guy's nose that's a specific item it's a i forget the name itself but it's a it's a tonic and it's a piece of equipment that you can trigger and it boosts all of your skills and you know you run faster you do more damage you have higher crit chance i think um boosts all of your skills for like a minute and then when it deactivates, you there is a chance that you can get a negative status effect that decreases all of your stats when you're not in tonic mode. So basically, the 4,569 thing, that's the negative status effect. The uh, 69 <laughs> fungi, that's for healing. And the 45 is attack speed. It basically turns you into a god when you are in tonic mode. I'm here to say my obligatory funny thing to get into the highlight reel and leave because I have work. So I have fun. Okay, cool. Th that's totally fine. Quick reminder that this is Mixed Game March tonight. Once again, is Risk of Rain 2 with Cookie for You. Next week will be Skyrim, and at the end of the month will be Gauntlet with Echo. If you have missed the Mirror's Edge and Terraria streams, those VODs will be up for a few weeks. And I also have highlight videos done of each of those streams, which you can watch on the channel. I also have them in a playlist. You can find them very easily. They're the, you know, some of the first videos when you look in the videos tab. So, go watch those videos if you would like to catch up on the streams that uh, I am doing throughout this month. Hello, Ethan. I need to remember to breathe. <laughs> Please excuse me. I am, I am way too excited. And then also a very quick reminder to buy and review my book, Shadowbound. There's a link to it in the description below. There's also a link to it in the pinned message in the chat. And leaving a review for it on Amazon is the best way to promote it to other people on Amazon so that other people can find the book. And then also, if you buy the book, you are supporting the channel and my writing endeavors. Now, I will load up the game. Now we'll undeafen, and we will talk to Cookie. Cookie! Cookie! Oh, I am unmuted now, okay. I there there sure. you are. Hello! Hello. It's Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain 2, right? Yes. I don't have any thought. No, I'm kidding. What? Um. <laughs> How dare you? I have it installed, thankfully. How are you this wonderful evening, Sir good. Cookie? Sir Cookie? <laughs> I'm like, good. Deciding whether or not I should wear a cosplay to PAX. Ooh, uh, I think you should always wear cosplay to PAX. Well, see, I'm like going with the thing of, uh, since it's like five days to PAX, I don't have the time. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe I should just... Maybe I'll just like wear a onesie or something. Oh, that's that's like, ooh, lazy uh, cosplay, but I guess it's still I, cosplay. I mean, so. it's five days to pack, so I can't be picking and choosing, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be. Hmm. 
I was so caught up in talking to you earlier that I totally forgot to promote the stream in other places. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. Take your time. Yep. Bought the book. Haven't gotten around to reading it yet. Well, thank you for buying the book. And when you do end up reading it, I hope you enjoy it greatly. I have been hearing positive things from people about it. So that's good. That means I did things right. Which is nice, because self-published books have a reputation for being not good. And I aim to be good. But I always aim to be good. Hmm. Alright. I'm guessing multiplayer, then I invite you. Yep, there it is. One second. You're fine. Oh, I gotta play a controller too, that's right. I'm a controller player. Y'all, we need to shame Cookie for being a controller player. What do you mean? What's wrong with being a controller player? <laughs> shame. Shame. You also need to- oh, you left! Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, there we go. So now you go to create multiplayer game. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Uh, do, do, do. Mm. Let's see, what is this one? Artificer? The mage lady. I don't think I've ever played them before. Ooh, she can be a little hard, but don't worry. You will get the hang of it eventually. You do really need to aim with her, though. I need to aim with her? Oh, yeah. God. Well, I'm locked in already. But she does a lot of uh, burst damage, so it's not all that bad. Darn it, I am a horrible aim. <laughs> See, this is why Huntress is probably my best character. Oh, because you're lazy? <laughs> Alright, person playing Huntress right now. What? That's because I'm good at her. All right, no, 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 no. So if it's me, I'm lazy. But if it's you, it's because you're good at her. Exactly. I see how it is. Because this is my channel, and if this was also your channel, then, you know, you could make all the see, excuses Chuck, you want. This is a dictatorship. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm watching your stream as well. Hold up. Doing what I shouldn't be doing, and that's standing still. But such is life. <laughs> eh, don't worry. I'll, I'm here to carry you. Right, 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 right. Owie! <laughs> oh my god, I see what you mean by I have to aim. It's like literally everything has to hit, or else. Yeah, pretty much. Mine. Okay. <laughs> They're adding new tier jewels that provide amazing spells to your deck in the spring update. Tier jewels? Like, the health and mana tier jewels? What's the name of the company that makes this game, by the way? They are... I forget. Hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I'm realizing, like, I'm a very vulnerable character. Let's see. They were made by uh, Hoppo Ooh. Games. Did my controller just die? Oh my god, it did. Thank goodness I have backup batteries. Yay! Yeah. So it was made by Hoppo Games and it was published by Gearbox. I'm wondering if, I'm gonna see if they are going to PAX or not. If they are, then cool. Oh my god! Controller turn on! I don't think they are. You can always check, yeah. Yeah, I can. I can check immediately. Just not right now, because we're in the match and I don't want to die. 
You don't have the epic ability to stand still. This character, unfortunately, yeah. That's why we shame controller players. Is it because yep. their battery's died? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You see, us controller players, we're a different breed. <laughs> you have too many issues. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Holy shit, I'm at 4 health. No, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. No, 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 no. This is the worst time to get hit. Man's gonna die on the first level. I took the thingy that, you know, it takes away 75% of health. The health shrine, yeah. But instead of taking like 75%, it left me with like 4 health. Yeah. It was because a lie! Because sometimes that 70% is 4. That does not math out. <laughs> it depends four on... 4 is not 70... I mean... It, it depends on how much health you have when you actually hit the thing. Because it won't let you trigger the thing if you're below a certain threshold. Oh my god! But it will if you are, and that threshold is uh, not full health. Sometimes. It currently adds sharpened, potent, school blades, school traps- oh my god. The- those sound like amazing jewels, and I'm never going to farm for them. Where's the healing drones? I am more than you. Oh. I got two. Uh, here. I'm coming. I'm coming! I already don't like this character. <laughs> <laughs> So, heal me, dronies! They won't heal me! Ah, uh, just give him a minute. They will eventually. Oh my god, I've I've rolled these things so much and I haven't gotten anything. I've like rolled them four or five times at this point. Oof. So with I'll this- I'll take the roll of So with this being my little month of experimentation, a uh, changelog for tonight's stream is I'm actually not only just alive, but I'm also recording the entire stream as well. So This stream? Yeah, this stream. So in the past when I've been making the stream highlights, mm -hmm. the footage is always a little bit blurry because of YouTube compression and then download and stuff like that. So I have decided, and I ran the calculations to see how big the whole stream VOD would be, like theoretically, it came out to about like 30 to 35 gigabytes, which is which is reasonable because I got two hard drives. Anyway, so I am recording it separate from the stream so then I don't need to download it so that it doesn't get all that compression and so it's as clear as can be. And we're going to give that a try for this week and we will see how it turns out. And if it works well enough and I'm happy with it, I'm going to be doing that for all future streams so that the stream highlights are... <laughs> a lot better than fuzzy YouTube quality. But I like fuzzy YouTube quality. Uh, well, Reminds I Reminds me don't. of the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> the ye olde days that was yeah. the YouTube. The old days back in my days when I was still in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day, we had backpacks. Oh my god, can these things leave me alone? Oh, that's how that works. Still can't aim for crap. Oh, I don't really have to aim if I get my my left trigger ability a lot. Yeah. Your secondary skill is very nice for, like, you know, clipping enemies. Of course, you know, if it does hit, then it's a good damage boost. But yeah, if you're um, just clearing out, like, the little wisps and stuff, you don't really need to aim too hard. Yeah, I still don't know how this character works at all. But, like, I'm learning. Gosh dang it. Definitely enjoyed the Terraria VOD. Luckily, this one doesn't have any lava. <laughs> and HJJ isn't here either. What happened with HJ and Terraria? What oh, are you doing? um, a lot of lava. 
And if you want if you want more details, you, you can go watch the stream highlights. Definitely will. Bro has lava as his nemesis. What is this? What is this creature spitting acid at me? Go, go die, thingy. Yeah, I had a oh, lot of fun doing the Terraria VOD, uh, highlights from the VOD, too. Finally, I got a healing one. None of them have been healing me. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how the drones are. What's this? That's to the shop. A blue orb appears. The secret shop. Oh, I didn't know that. I just saw it say pay one and I was like, okay. <laughs> pay one token, yes. And you can have that. What is this? The Oh, that was a void cradle, but it's opened now. Ooh, what is this? Armor pierce, I guess. I don't really have a lot. I'm noticing. So we have the shop, so we could skip this area's fight, right? Technically, or no, we just get a little rest spot for if we complete the boss. If we want to go there, of course. I'm learning to aim. Oh my god! Feel the burn! Run! No, you don't get to spit in my face. Ow. Ow, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Were you dead? <laughs> oh she my god. Spit. She spit too hard. There was three of them. Mm -hmm. This is a bar. Well, I wasn't that good as an artificer. It was like your first time here. I could play here. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. I got my eye on build. Full attacks from behind a critical strike. Fire shotgun burst for five times 100 damage. Smoke bomb. Flare. If y'all haven't noticed yet, Cookie has not played this game a whole lot. I have not at all. I am like a baby. You know what? Huntress is just the easiest. I'm just gonna run her. Okay. I still need to get that whole glaive thing where, like, you know, I kill enemies with one hit of each glaive. Bounce or something like that. Oh, that's easy. We can, uh... Stack some good damage on you. My ankles! Oh boy, I gotta get used to the aiming again. Okay, I got the bustling mushroom, thank god. At least you got some healing. Oh wow, you're already hurt. What? Did yeah, you... I'll be fine, I'll be fine. There's Are those you weird sure? tongue thingies. Those weird tongue things that bother me so much. The blind pests? Yeah. It's a boy cradle over there. There's a... Wait a minute. Doesn't this game also have lava? It... Does it... not. Well, it only has a whole region with lava. What well, it has hell, yeah. Or what is essentially hell. Uh, would you like an extra life? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm healing. Y'all, I got that premium life going. In this... 
thingy. Leave me alone. It's been a while since I played this game. If you notice. You've been on that Warframe binge, haven't you? Oh yeah. Warframe's so fun. <laughs> no, we're doomed. Don't worry. It's not like... It's not like lava it's lava. It's just hell. very red. It is lava. It's very, very red. It can hurt us. It's lava. <laughs> it's... <laughs> What what game are you playing? No, there's I distinctly remember we, there's like a spot where you can run on the lava and you get hurt running on it. Uh, there's a store there. No, no, no. I okay? cannot aim. I just cannot aim. <laughs> I've never been good at aiming with Artificer. Neither have I, don't worry. <laughs> not on the not on the little ones anyway. I always struggle with the wisps. Like these guys they have a little bit more surface area. They're just annoying. Generally. Yeah, that's the, that's the ones that keep bothering me. The lickies. <laughs> the licky? Yeah, I call them the lickies. It's the first time I've ever heard them called the lickies. Well, why wouldn't you call them the lickies? They got tons. That That is fair, yeah. They remind me of, like, licky tongue if you could fly. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see, what else do we got? Uh, Any other stuff? There should be more stuff. Yeah, there's chests over here. Over where? Okay. On my way. These little jerks. Can I? Thank you. One, two, there. I mean, there might not be lava, but there's certainly a lot of fire. Fire, lava, same thing. Same thing? I wouldn't classify it as the same thing. You will sort everything out. Do you want more fungus? You are just stacking fungus. I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I'm stacking fungus because it's the only thing I can find. <laughs> it's the only thing these darn chests are giving me. I mean, hey, it's not like you're missing out on a whole lot either. I've got, like, I got a money thing, I got a, a thing that won't be used until the next level, and I got a key that also won't be used until the next level. Yeah, if we're not getting really good drops. Oh. I am experiencing some lag. Oh no. Are you okay? I am experiencing a lot of lag. Uh, that's odd. Hang on, let me jump up here. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah, stream's yeah. still going, but the uh... Stream's still going, I see it. Hold the, up, let me try something. The game is strange. Let me try something. Cut up, quit the menu. Oh. So... Let me re-invite you, but you'll be leader. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's my Wi-Fi. Right. Probably. Like, I got uh, my. I mean, my Wi-Fi is fine, but I don't know if it's just on yours. Like uh, it's the whole. Well, I got my internet plugged in and everything, so. Yeah. So you're a leader now. Yes. Don't worry, I'll just call Doom Guy. He will sort everything out and make sure you are not doomed. Oh no, Thanks, it's Ethan. Doom Guy's evil brother. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of Doom Guy would be. Yeah. What, uh, what's that dude's not, name? Not Doom Girl. Bad Doom Guy. Bad Doom Guy. <laughs> 
You know, that guy. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Hmm. What's the name of their company I'm looking at? What's the name of the, the company that makes... Uh, let me just search it up. Developer. Um, Oppo hey, Games. Hey, can you get of. out of the uh, pods? Because I can't. I can. I can't. Oh, uh, you bugged again. That, that happened to me, remember? Oh, yeah. So what do I do? Do I just keep pressing the button? Uh, no, we have to restart. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Here, I'll invite you this time. Sea Storm has asked you to play Risk of Who's Sea Storm? That's me. I don't know this person. Who is this? That's me. Cookie. I know. I'm just joking. Do you Who not is remember this me? Sea Storm. What is a samurai? Who is this person? I don't remember. The, the mercenary. That's cool. I'm just I'm wearing the cool outfit. Cool outfit's cool. Same level. Nice. It's the Samurai. From Wizard 101. So I'm still not out of my pod because I just didn't click exit yet. Are you? <laughs> Bro, Are you I'm out here I, like... fighting for my life. You're in there Googling. No, 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 no. There, there was, I was reading EC, sorry. Oh. My bad. It's my bad 100%. I'm a nosy little bugger. Is there talking going on? No, 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 no. It's just a new person inside a uh, hi. That's all. Ah. So I was just like, oh hi. I just wanted to ask what they were, what they do. If they're the new community manager. No, <laughs> that's not what I'm asking. I just want to know <laughs> what they do, cause like, you know, if they work on the game, cause we know what the other ones do, but I don't know about what he does. So, me being the nosy person I am, I had to ask. <laughs> Ronald's band. He's like, hold on, let me. Literally, that is actually me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do this during my own stream all the time, and I feel so bad because, like, I'm just so interested in everything. You need to calm down, Cookie. Calm down and focus. I, mean, I need you to not die. And nah, also, it's gonna not... happen either way. We both know it. Yeah. But you Reducing know. Reducing coming damage while sprinting. Boink. Ah, I wasted all my money on nothing. Dude. Gamble at the end, not the beginning. I need these like little flying things to appear more. So that way I can use all my bounces to kill them all. <laughs> and get that skill. Well, you know what I could do next time is I could be cool. I need the glass the the, the glasses. Yeah, That's me. I could be cool doggo man and uh, weaken them all for you. I guess that's fair. That's a thing I can do. Uh, yes. And nah. make you more effective at killing things. Even though I never well, really play that poison. You never played a big dude? I, no, 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 like there's, he has two different poison types. One of them doesn't kill and one of them does kill. And, oh. I, and I usually play the killable one. Be because it kills. So when you're playing in a team, um, like you can play the, the one that doesn't kill a little bit better because you're not relying on yourself to kill. But when you are relying on yourself to kill, it's just better to use the one that kills. Fair. 
Just... And solo, you're able to pause, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, Cause like, my mind was thinking, oh, you're able to pause and solo for some reason. <laughs> well, yeah. If you could pause in multiplayer, then... Well, I would be kind of frustrated. <laughs> I just casually pause. Hold up, I need to look up something. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, let me check this real quick. Ooh. What is this glade thing it gave me? A Samarang? It oh, yeah, shoots it saws at your cursor. It's garbage. It's not garbage, it's cool. It's cool, but it's still garbage. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> it's not meta. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am one of those players. Man's no, trying to meta risk of rain. <laughs> All these luck thingies, and I'm not getting lucky. You're not metaing hard enough. <laughs> I gotta become one with the Zuckerberg. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had a double jump. Right, this man has a double jump. Wow. Now, rapidly heal outside of damage. I mean, knowing you, you just need all the healing items. They know me so well in the game. I got a recycler. A recycler's more useless than a Samarang. What's a recycler? It can turn an item into a different item of the same rarity once. That might be useful, where is he? I have it on me. So we're gonna need to find another equipment thing for us to be able to switch. Oh, so never mind then. That's kind of meh. <laughs> it's only meh because you don't have access to it. <laughs> That's exactly right, you're getting my mind now. <laughs> See, you get me, you get me. <laughs> it's gonna be such an interesting uh, week ahead. I'm gonna be trying Raising Canes for the first time. Ooh. Literally the only reason I'm going to Raising Canes is simply because of Orbit. I hope I... he understands that. <laughs> I have a Raising Canes meme that I will definitely use one of these weeks and I will guilt Orbit into not being on the stream and missing the meme. I will literally go to Raising Cane's just to say to Orbit, it was kind of meh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's we got. Just... I think we got everything apart from. No, the... no, no. There's still stuff over here. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ping it. Do what I ping. How do I ping? Yeah. Well, usually I'd say middle mouse button, but you're on controller, so. Delicate watch deals bonus damage. That's good. Isn't there like a thing up top here? A uh, recipe, yeah. But you don't always have to like you know go up and look at it you could just take a screenshot <laughs> reference Me? it later yeah wait i'm talking about up this hill oh wait what did you think i meant what is that noise hang on oh no yeah yeah no i'm you you're talking about the recipe yes there's only the recipe up here just take a screenshot <laughs> Oh no, I didn't know this was here until now. <laughs> like, I was, I was just talking about, is it there more? Like, is it just... No, this stuff? is it. We just uh, have the uh, slots left. And I don't want to do the slots. I guess we could do this. Uh, so, 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 so. Tra -la -la. <laughs> Hurry up and get over here. I'm away. While you're digging your sweet time, the difficulty only increases. Hey, I am 
trying. I'm not that fast. All right, come on. Where are you? Dude, just hit it. Hit the button. Wait, there's one more chance thingy. Oh my god, just. I got a missile launcher. Okay. You can have my throwing blade if you want it. Yes, please. The summer ring. Yeah. Press the button. Yeah. Where are they? I got a missile launcher. Dead. There we go. Yep. Easy. Ooh. Ooh, guitar. Ukulele. It's a big ukulele. It is a ukulele. Or so they say. All aboard the toxic gossip train! <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> Why? Oh, because she sung it on a ukulele. Oh, okay. It's not a ukulele, though. It looks like a guitar. Yeah, well, the difference is that guitars are bigger and a ukulele is smaller than a guitar. Right, but that was a big instrument. That was almost as big as my character. But when I put it on, it's small. I guess that's why I got confused. The whole thing of like when I look at it, like when you look at it before you pick it up, it's pretty big. Oh, but then yeah. when you actually put it on, it's smaller. So that's why I thought it was a guitar. Yeah, that's fine. It's... <laughs> Settle down, Miranda. <laughs> what are you? All right. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the new person does marketing. Oh, that's what he says. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. There's a big Let's boy see. coming forth. What is this thingy? Ukulele war flashbacks? <laughs> is that a reference to the... Uh, to the Toxic House, the train song or whatever? Uh, I believe so, yes. Mine. Paul's go hoof. I'll need that, actually. Die. Please, thank you. Walk. I can't afford to die. I would like you to stay alive too. Yeah. Staying alive is no! kind of important. Oh. New War banner. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not bad. I don't even bother picking them up anymore. Well, they're they're not horrible. If they're not making me god, they're not good enough. Well, they could totally make you god. You can have it span. You can have it span the entire map, and you just have a uh, permanent faster shooting. Oh, I on. guess that's fair. But that's if you get a lot of them. Oh, then that if they're not, then if if one of them isn't making me god, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the stacks, bro. The sticks. Ooh, a stun grenade. That's good. I need one more coin to open this uh, chance thing. What, lunar coin or regular coin? What did I get? I regular got a coin. crowbar. Crowbar's good. We love crowbars. Crowbar's good on her. Oh I my mean, god, I did a lot more damage. Good on anyone, but especially on her. Oh. Yaw. 
give. Not a stun grenade, nice. We love stun grenades. Hey, back here, you. Was boy cradle three printers? Two boy cradles. Now, give, my ankles. Give, give. Remember, did you find a key or did we have to reset? Uh, we had to reset. Okay. Oh, but I found a void key. Encrusted key, interesting. Yeah. Void keys are cool. What's this? Ah, missed it. Uh, get the Aegis? What's the Aegis? Aegis is... You gain additional shield if you overheal your max health. Oh, well I found that. And another mushroom. So if you stand still and get a lot of mushrooms, then you can become god. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we need more mushrooms. Cookie needs to be brought under control. He's got a god complex. You know, if God uh. couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bar. Well, I guess on that front, uh, anyone who plays this game technically has a god complex with how crazy the runs can get. Get a medkit. Receive a delayed heal after taking damage. I'll take the medkit. Oh my god, what is this rat? A uh, fast rat. Is that rat beard? I'm joking, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> rat, but... rat beard's invading. <laughs> I'm joking. God. Need to bring him down to earth then? What do you mean? We need a we need to ground you. We need to humble you. Yes! I Yay! did it! Finishing touch! I forget what skill that unlocks. It's something. I think some I think it's new first skill. Oh the triple shot. Yeah, I love the triple shot. I think that's it. One moment. Uh, let's make sure. Go we don't have to. Bit. Yeah, we don't have to get everything. We don't have yes, to pick the place clean. Do. Oh, it's this. Ooh, ooh, ha, yeah. It's we dead. love those invincibility frames. We don't love the shooting man. He's dying. He's dying so bad. Dead. Yay. Aww. What is this? What are these? Predatory instincts. The critical strikes increase attack speed. Stack three times. Ooh, that's good. Do you want the other one, by the way? Yes, please. Okay, I won't touch the other one. Oh. Hi, I'm in the wall. Where are you? I'm in the wall. Oh, I'm out of the wall now. I was in the uh, wall. I was over here. Hang on. Can I do it again? No. Uh. Slaughter. I need to wait for the skill. What angle did I hit it from? Oh, I was in the wall. wonder if I can make it. Because I could dash. Probably. Looks like maybe right here. Thing. Nah, it's it's gotta be on the uh on there. That's where the polygons are all weird. I was thinking here because I could see the polygons being a little weird here too. Oh, I'm oh in. there it is, yeah. <laughs> Bro, let me try it again. Yo. Gosh dang it. I went so far into it I, I fell off the map. 
Gosh dang it. Oh wait. Dang it, no. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Ooh. There you go. yeah I. <laughs> Just since the kills. <laughs> oh. Nope. nope. Dang it. I'm trying to it. make it where I can land on it. Yeah. Maybe if I point downward. Like, I did it from back here ish. Oh. No. Huh? Yeah. Hello. I'm standing on the thing. <laughs> Gosh dang it. You gotta be really careful. The ledge is super small. Yeah, I saw that. It's like it's really small for some reason. You want me to activate the teleporter? Yeah, go right on ahead. And I appear! Magic. So what you're saying is shrooms can make you god. Yeah, if you yes. eat enough of them. If you eat enough of them. If you eat enough shroom, kids, you'll be god. Oh boy. Hashtag not legal my advice. Client, my, yeah, my client cookie is now responsible for any person taking shrooms, as well as this is not a... As well as uh, I do not recommend anyone to take shrooms whatsoever, and I'm not responsible if you or said person watching this or a friend takes shrooms. Buy shrooms today. <laughs> I think that covers everything. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, there's the big drone. Ooh, how much? 2,300. 2,000, oh wow. We could do it. Oh yeah, definitely. Just can't buy anything else, I guess, so one of us has to save. Hmm. Uh, do you want the backup mag? I guess I'll take the backup mag. Backup mag is my, uh, bow and arrow. I mean, Your glaive. That's great. Yeah, I'll take the backup mag. Then. Yeah, the more glaives, the better. Oh. Y'all better get used to the, the mooing. There's a moon version, and that's why it's so tanky. Come on. Come on. It's almost dead. There we go. I have a thousand thirty-three gold. How much do you have? I have a thousand thirty-five. Okay. Oh, fire one. Great. Don't get behind him. He hurts from behind. <laughs> Thousand five hundred. Oh, no. There's altars. another. <sighs> These bison are just so loud. I swear. They're loud and they're proud. <laughs> God. What's this? What? What's this little thingy? Oh, I got I got the key for that. Hold up. Activate fan. Oh. What, do what we is got? that? <gasps> Ooh, there's the plasma shrimp. It's the middle one. 
Oh, I'm so confused. So if you open the, the bobble, you'll get three choices for items. You want the middle item. Plasma shrimp. Yep. It's the one that makes you do insane damage. Oh. Well, I mean, everything can make you do insane damage, but that one specifically. We almost got enough gold. We love plasma shrimp. It is my favorite item. I think we need just a little bit more gold. Yeah, just a little bit more. I, I'm like... Yeah, I'm like 50 away. Same. We have enough. Stupid cow. Ooh. He's alive! <laughs> Man cannot be stopped. What are the fans do? Uh, they just- they're like bounce pads. Oh, that's kind of- Kind of dumb. That is not something worth spending gold on. Oh, <gasps> there's another! Another what? Big drone. Oh, no way. So I got one too. I got one too! Oh my god, so we both have big drones now? Yes. That's so good. There's no way we die now. Two big drones, one for each of us. That's always nice. That's like the ideal setup. That is a leech. Watch us find like a third one somehow. <laughs> what is this? Timer thingy? No. Oh. I remember what you told me that was. Gain an extra jump. I found a hoppo feather. What's a super massive leech? It grants you life steal for a certain period of time. Uh, I don't think that's worth it for me. Maybe yeah. it is. Well, not if you um, not if you don't need the healing. Or well, if you need the healing, yeah. If you don't, then nah. I think did we get everything? Or no. There's one chest. There's another chest, and then I think that's it. Why can't I open this chest? Oh, it opened finally. That was <laughs> you're, weird. You're not aiming. No, 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 I was actually opening it. Controller but... man. Is that all of them now? There's a green one here, and then yes. Whoa. Go press the button. On the way. Yeah, we're doing a lot better this time. Well, I mean, we have two giant gunner drones. That is fair, yes. One, got one more left. <laughs> He's fallen off the side. Oh, 
Aha! Oh, it's regener regenerating scrap. What's that? It gives you one free green item from a printer. Oh. So, I mean, if you find a green printer that you really want something from, then sure. What? Why is my... Why can't I fire? You need a target to fire at. If you have no target, or the target's too far away and you can't lock onto it, then you don't fire. Oh, does it just not fire if I don't have any targets? Uh, nope. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, I'm pressing the button. It wasn't doing anything. I was like, huh? Hello, Mob. Welcome to the stream. Okay. See, this is this is hell. Welcome to the lava lair. See, this is the lava place. Well, there's no lava here, but... That is not true. There is lava here. I'll find it. Wow. This man dodged all of the attacks. Who? Haha. -ha. See, lava lizard. Close enough. <laughs> lava lizard. <laughs> oh there's my a, god, it's the boss. There's a magma worm? There's a boss! Hang on, I'm coming. Though you might have it in the bag. Bro can't handle me, though. I'm not I'm too, too concerned good. about you. Your health is not dropped. <laughs> oh no, it's a imp <laughs> oh my god my die my delicate watch not like this you know what just die just die just take all my bombs oh he teleported so it didn't hit him there we go it's not that bad how oh, that wasn't a magma worm. It's a magma worm. See, wait, no, there can't be magma without lava. Then there is a there <laughs> is lava. There's lava somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie's on a mission to find it. Can't have magma without lava. Nope. How's the riding and driving? Driving? I haven't done any driving today. Are you learning to drive? I am learning how to drive by. Oh, I'm not taking classes. <laughs> I'm proud of you for attempting. I am learning in a very unconventional way. However, my life is full of unconventional uh, learning methods, so I'm not complaining. Uh, the writing. I died. <laughs> you died? I did not realize he hit me with all of that. Oh boy. You see, he hit me with too many of his little uh, exploding bobbles, and then my invincibility was on cooldown when I thought it wasn't. I guess I'll, I'll try to make it. I believe in you. I got this, somehow. As for the writing, the writing's coming along bit by bit. I haven't been doing a whole lot. Uh, the last couple of days. I mean, I have been writing, I just haven't been meeting the daily goal. But, you know, <laughs> hopefully that I, I can get back on the ball after I do my stream highlights for this time around. It's all a process, though there there will come a point where if I'm not hitting the daily goal, then I'm not going to hit 90k by the end of March. And the whole oh manuscript, the whole manuscript isn't even like, like done done. There's a bunch of stuff that's uh, still missing in a lot of scenes that I need to go back and join up.
Thank you for the support, mob. We got this. Yeah, look at you go! Uh, let me see. Whoop. Can this lizard leave me alone? I don't want... I don't want any lizard. Come on, Cookie. Oh my god. Come on, Cookie. Just, just run. run for now. Just run. Outside of battle, I rapidly heal, so it's gonna run for now. Yeah. Do I have Rider's Block? I... It's not that I have Rider's Block, is that I don't want to write the boring parts of the scenes, I guess you could say. Yeah, I want to get to the fun, exciting stuff, but I can't skip too much because otherwise I'm not writing, like, you know, important character development that ties into the end of the book, and then when I write the end of the book, it's going to be a little bit weird, and then I got to go back through the rest of the book and make sure everything lines up, and that can be a whole mess, and it's a nightmare, so I know I need to write the boring stuff, but I don't want to, so right now I'm just skipping it to get to the word count goal, and then... You know, this summer is going to be a very lengthy editing process. And then when I get the edit to done, I'll probably have a rough time frame for when the book will actually get published. And I'll let you guys know when, you know, I have that time frame. Tra transparency in self-publishing is very important. Well, transparency in anything is very important, but especially for self-publishing. I kind of liken it to um, early access games, like, you know, especially early access games on Steam. You got to have that roadmap. That roadmap, you know, gets people invested, gets people, you know, hyped. You know, you can read the first book, that's like, you know, the, the early access of the entire trilogy, and it's like, I'm writing the second book right now, here's how it's Ooh, going. Oh, more thank god. I'll be here when it's finished. Thank you. Thank you, I, gr I greatly appreciate all the support. I, I will get this done. I will get it done. I, I have people, I have too many people counting on me to not get it done, so... Now, now that the first book's out, I kind of have to finish the other two, don't I? Let's hope your readers' eyes don't glaze over when they need to read the boring part. You see, it's not even like, quote unquote, boring per se. It's just that I don't want to write it. It'd still be interesting because it's still character development and like conversations and stuff's happening, but it's like connecting the like one scene to the next or or one super fun part to the other like you know my definition my definition of fun versus boring it might be a little bit different from yours and like especially when writing because you want to get to the good stuff you want to get to the drama you you want to get to all the juicy details and stuff right but then you have to write everything else in between that, and th and then you just kind of sit there like, but I don't want to say how Blaze and Amber get into a coffee shop and start throwing paper towels at each other. Like, <laughs> I just want to get to the paper towel fight. And now that's just a purely hypothetical situation. Spoilers! No. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, that does not happen, which is why I said it. Um, Spoilers! <laughs> you know, it's like, you don't, you don't want to write the lead up because the lead up can be a little bit boring in the sense that you need to, you need to make sure that you're setting it up right and you got all the, it, like all the. No characters are consistent as to where they are in the book and you got to make sure that the the dialogue is engaging and the action like you know the tensions uh being built up just right and it, it's like the, the little technical details it's like no i just want them to go and throw paper towels at Risky. each other that's what i want to do and so then I do it, and I skip all the build-up and stuff. It's like, well, I know what the build-up is in my mind, so I'll just go back and, and write it in post. No, I missed it. Oh. 
Where's the where's the the ending? I think it's in the cave. Oh I don't God. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention too much. <laughs> uh maybe over How is there a coffee shop in medieval wizard world? Well, how I kind of see the wizard side of Astria. It's a little bit of like, um, not, cause when I say modern fantasy, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are thinking like urban fantasy, like fantasy that happens in the present. And it does, it is happening kind of in the present, like in terms of earth years, Shadowbound is, and all that sort of stuff is happening roughly around uh, this time-ish? Actually, I think it's more in, like, 2026, so in two years that'll be kind of, like, the canonical, like, time that all this is happening in. But, like, the wizards are, like, you know, they got that fantasy vibe, but it's not, like, medieval fantasy because they have, you know, light bulbs and like refrigeration though their refrigeration is a little bit different from ours obviously because magic exists and they have uh oh what else do they have i mean they got ice cream they got a different version of ice cream but it's their version of ice cream it's like it's just snow and cream and flavoring like yeah that's what they call ice cream up in astria so they do have some modern conveniences, not completely. Ooh, so it, it's more like, you know, d a little medieval fantasy with a little modern mix to it. But then there's also, um, uh, Gardal, that's a little bit more, like, uh, based on, well, not just the Vikings, but, like, uh, Scandinavia, Norway, and then you got Kendon, which is more, uh, Victorian steampunk, actually. Or at least that's kind of what I'm trying to go for, and I hope that I've portrayed the island well in that sense. And then there's Corridon, which is, like, more rural. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, it's just more like rural farming play. It doesn't really have like a theme to it. It's just farms. <laughs> and then and then finally we got Mirage, which is desert, the arts, the creatives, the sporty types. Like they're they're a lot more free spirited. Like it, that too, like it's not just based off of anywhere in particular. It's just kind of a desert with people living there. I love combining magic with just modern life, but it doesn't seem like the everything is modern. Yeah, pretty much. Like, they have electricity, but they need the storm wizards to oh. run the electricity. You're alive. Yay. Yeah, so it's like, you need storm uh, wizards to run uh, electricity, you need life wizards to help with uh, crops, and also making sure people don't die from sickness and stuff. You got ice mm -hmm. and fire wizards working together in collaboration to produce water. And that's how they they get all their water. And then, you know, ice wizards also provide ice for refrigeration. Fire wizards provide fire for heat. Etc, etc, etc. And then the fire nation attack. And then the fire... <laughs> no! <laughs> Jake rises Jr. up. Get a clone of yourself. Ooh. I got Gubu Jr. So, yes, in the second book, you will be going to Gardal and you will also be going to Kendon. And I think they will be pretty cool places. I'm, I'm currently working on the Kendon stuff right now. I am struggling against this weird boss thingy. The- oh, that guy. Don't let the beam touch you. 
Onerous, yeah. Also, welcome HJJ. You finally caught the stream. Hey, Frenzy, welcome. Finally able to catch a cookie slash storm stream. Indeed. He should die soon. Give it a die. So I'm guessing yeah, it's kind of like goodness. LOK vibes? What's LOK? Oh, you're saying I love Kitty for some reason? No, no, no. LOK. That's a... Acronym. Who's the big baddie in Shadowbound? It is... A mysterious woman. And you will find out exactly why if you read the book. You're invited to challenge to the mountain. Oh, Legend of Korra. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I've never watched Legend of Korra, so I don't... I've never watched that show either. Like, I've seen scenes of it, and yeah, it's like... It, it's basically they've entered a world where it's like a mix between bending and technology. So, yeah. It's kind of similar on that front. <laughs> the main villain is you. The final boss is uh, me. The omnipotent welcome. writer. No, I'm falling. Oh. You okay? Yes, I didn't fall. <laughs> but I did panic a bit. It's a bad show. Yeah, I've already deemed it to be a bad show. That's why I haven't watched it. What, Korra's a bad show? I'm not surprised. Nah. Korra's kind of an egomaniac. Or at least no. that's the vibes I get from her. Somebody should humble her. Ooh, what's this? Mm -hmm. Repair incinerator drone. Ooh. You're mine now. We have two TC-280s and then an incinerator drone that is getting absolutely clapped right now. <laughs> incinerator drones are cool though. We love incinerator drones. Oh, HJJ loves Korra. Well... <laughs> she we is can, best girl. <laughs> we can agree to disagree. I know I've missed a chat message or two. Huh? Oh, shoot. But I can't stop uh, to... I summoned the diamond thing to the fight. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the other thing is that I don't really have the time to watch like TV oh, shows anymore. That's not good. Either. So, like, even if I did want to watch Korra, I just, like, you know, do you guys want the book or not? <laughs> Where is the rain? <laughs> this is the rain. The rain of body parts. Where is the rain and risk of rain? That's All a good right. question. You always need a coffee shop? Coffee shop is a necessity. Indeed. All this talk is actually making me really hyped to read. Bro, you If you should... don't have a coffee shop... If you don't have a coffee shop in your world, you're not an advanced civilization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you should totally read Shadowbound. It's a fun little romp. You know, it's got... It's got its flaws. Like, I was looking at the manuscript earlier this week, I think, because I was checking a couple details. And I noticed that a paragraph was missing a period, so... No! <laughs> Oopsies! And if you find it, uh, please tell me so I know you read- you've read it. Yo, y'all, it's- probably it's- probably like- It's your favorite game show, Spot the Missing Period! It's probably one of the artists' like, secret pleasure. When a person tells them, hey, this is a typo in your book. They like that because, you know, that tells them you've been reading it. Yep. Precisely. 
And I know there's like typos and grammatical errors and stuff like that. However, it got as polished as I could get it. And after a while, it was kind of like, you, you stare at it so long, you go crazy. And then you just kind of need to let it go. So I did. Oh I haven't God, noticed any typos sense. whatsoever, slash serious. <laughs> oh, slash J. I don't know how to denote sarcasm. Well, I think SRS is serious, slash S is sarcasm, but I do read it as serious sometimes. Of course, that's just me. And then slash J is joking. Another incinerator! Oh, is this the same one? Because I was gone. Uh... Yeah, probably the same one. Uh, Coffee shop W, plan on going next week? I need to study. Poor so. Frenzy. Imagine needing to study. I will make the phrase into a meme so when you make any mistakes, I will quote that sentence. Bro, one of these days is just gonna be like... Um, you know, here's a challenge. You got a month to read all three of my books and point out as many typos and mistakes as possible. However... Or not however, and... Whoever finds the most or finds all of them, like, I would probably go and look for them myself as well to make sure that it's right. Uh, you get a prize. You get 10,000 crowns, probably not crowns, but you know what I mean. Like, a <laughs> First person's gonna find it, it's gonna be like, what's what's your You get a offer? free signed copy and some posters. I don't know, but that's gonna be when, that's probably gonna be when all three are out, not just one. I meant Korra, not Shadowbound. Yeah, I know you meant Korra. What is this? Bear gun turret. Trying to find as much stuff around as I can. Well, fun fact, one of the characters, Kimberly, in Shadowbound, she actually used to work at a coffee shop in a very, very old rendition of Shadowbound back when it was still uh, a Wizard 101 fanfic, believe it or not. Well, actually... I make it no secret that Shadowbound is inspired by Wiz, so yeah, of course it started as a fanfic. Uh, but yeah, in that rendition, she worked in a coffee shop. She didn't own it, she worked there, but she was a very popular waitress. And one of her arms was actually paralyzed. She got into an accident, and so the only way she could move her- I think it was like her right arm was through using magic. Though, I scrapped that rendition in favor of her owning an ice cream shop and being really cool and uber strong. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> 10,000 units of something as the prize? Oh boy, 10,000 units of dates. Dates? Okay, don't promise things you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, not dates as in, like, you know, take me out on a date, like, dates as in the things that you eat. Uh, I will ship you a mound of dates. Probably not, because I have no idea where to buy that many dates. Is Merle Ambrose or Zeke in Shadowbound? No. <laughs> Guy named Ambrose Merle. <laughs> 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 Ural. He's just some crazy dude who's like, oh, you know. Yeah, we got uh, Ural. Celestia. Celestia is underwater. <laughs> yeah, we got Headmaster Ural, uh, Bambros, and uh, Treasure Hunter Zook. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, they're not real characters. <laughs> but that would be funny. 10,000 unicorn balloons. Oh no. 10,000 handful of lemonade. Where is the altar? The altar is there. We'll just go to the moon. We are ready. I think I think that's everything. Yep. 
I'm on my way. Oh no, it's grandparents. We'll well, be this fine. is gonna suck so much. Oh, that's not good. I fell off the map at a really early part in this fight. Oop. Don't make it clone to me, I'm gonna die. Come on. I am like keeping a very close eye on my skills because my skills are going to be my saving grace here. Unfortunately, I also have to keep an eye on my skills. I have two clones, thankfully. Oh my god. I have no idea what's going on. One of them, two of them's popping. I oh, this might is bad. die. I might die too. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, there's Instant three death. of them. Died what? three times what? while burning? <laughs> Yo. I got an achievement for dying three times while burning. Amazing. How do you die three times? It's probably three times in total. Alright. Uh, hang on. This is your midstream reminder to hydrate yourself. Ooh, while we're here, I'm gonna go take my medication, actually. Yeah, you do that. Just, we're, we're yeah, gonna okay. take a quick break. Alright. While Cookie is away, feel free to check the links in the description of the stream. Go give him a sub on Twitch. He's been doing a lot of Warframe streams lately, but, you know, Cookie's cool. Go, just go give him a follow just because he's cool. And while you're down there, please feel free to go and buy a copy of Shadowbound if you have not already. Leave a review on Amazon for Shadowbound if you have not already. Check out my Substack. I am still writing that serialized story that takes place in the Shadowbound universe to uh, where you can immerse yourself in Shadowbound completely for free. And go check out Echo's socials as well. She did the cover art for Shadowbound. She is the channel artist. Please go look at some of her socials. She posts art semi-regularly on a bunch of different platforms. So it'd be great if you could check her out as well. I need to work on some of my marketing pitches. I am fully aware of that. I'm trying to distill them down. It's it's all a process. I used to have like I used to have it down and then I started doing a bunch of co-op streams and then I kind of fell out of practice. <laughs> oh well, it is how it is. Let's see. What are people talking about? What are you guys talking about? Hi, chat. How have you been? My week has been... Pretty okay. It's been one of my better weeks. <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot of writing, but I have been slowly getting away from the computer, and that's good. That's a good thing. I've been on the computer way too much for the last year and a half ish hello eliza welcome to the stream <laughs> Moo mood I agree My school did a competition where you and a friend could make a level 20 D&D character and have your team of 2 fight another team of 2 to the death for a prize Interesting Did you win? Did you come close to winning? Did you get in the top 3? Computer also means schoolwork, at least for me. Yeah, I know. Like, computer for me means writing and doing streams and videos. Like, you know, the streams are fine. This is like my one day of the week where I get to relax and have fun, more or less. Saturdays, I do the stream highlights 
If I don't get them done on Saturday, I do final touch-ups on Sunday. And then the rest of my free time is mostly spent writing. I say mostly, I really mean like an hour and a half. <laughs> the rest of it's just dicking around, doing absolutely nothing. You know, uh, maintaining the illusion of being productive, when in actuality I'm just kind of twiddling my thumbs. Actually, this week, I've been working a lot on resumes. I'm trying to find a job. So hopefully that works out eventually. Because I do actually need to get away from the computer a little bit more and actually start making some real money. Like... I earn pennies from YouTube. Like, I like doing YouTube, I like doing these streams, I have been enjoying the stream highlights so far. But I'm not really earning a whole lot from YouTube. I need- I need that income now. Computer means content creation, procrastinating, and school- <laughs> don't we love it? Indeed. I did not enter, but I talked to the second place guy and his character made like 16 attacks and did an average of 400 damage each round. Oh, wow. Finding a job, best of luck. Thank you, Frenzy. Coffee shop? Probably not. But that would be kind of funny. Uh, I've, I've applied to Starbucks twice. And both times I have not received a response. So I've kind of given up on Starbucks, at the very least. Coffee shop would be nice, like a local one is the way to go. Oh yeah. Probably, is, unfortunately, all I got are Starbuckses in the immediate area. No real, like, local coffee shop that's, well, A, within the range of my home, and B, where I can actually get to work on time. Because we have one car for the entire family. So ain't that lovely. <laughs> Waking up in the morning to everyone scrambling out the door getting ready for school and work and all that. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. Oh. You might wow. be able to get through retail, maybe starting at a mall, but sadly they don't they don't pay as well. I'm not really looking for the pay, I'm just looking for the work experience and the social experience. Like that that's about it. The money is kind of like fifth on my list of things that I need a job for. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly just to get off the internet and touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> My first job was at a mall at a shoe store. The job is the toughest because of the dumb experience thing. Yeah, a lot of places are like, you need to have like five years of retail experience. And I'm sitting here like, I just came from Thailand. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm 20 and I'm not in college. Thank you. If you want me to have five years of experience already, are you nuts? Here's the plan. Take a loan from the bank. Buy the bank you took the loan out from. Then forgive your debt. You're now the CEO of a bank and can get lots of money. I have a feeling there are regulations in place to stop that from happening, but that would be funny. I do want to, um, I believe I've expressed this before, but I do want to start a small publishing house at some point. And not just like, you know, you give me your book, I I publish it under the company name, and it just gets put up on Amazon and Amazon prints it. No, I want like actual printers and book binders. Like I want to do it all myself. Like you, you signing up with me, I make sure that you get quality books because Amazon does not guarantee quality. Like I got a shipment of author copies from Amazon a while ago and about half the batch came out oversaturated and the pages have weird black marks on them and some of the pages weren't cut properly. So yeah, <laughs> I want to do that myself. But that's a little bit like, you know, far into the future. Uh, 
Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, talking about jobs and stuff. Are you looking for a job? Yeah, I'm looking for a job. Hmm. Have you ever thought being a... What's the name of those things that makes... A proofreader. Yeah, I could be a proofreader. Probably. <laughs> yeah, have you ever thought about doing something like into the field that you enjoy? Yeah. Then, you know, just some that's of... typically what I like to do. Yeah, if some I get of a the... Job... Sorry, you can go. <laughs> no, I was just saying if I get a job, it's something I, w I would preferably want to enjoy. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Um, though I think, like, proofreading, like, doing official edits and stuff, that actually... Uh, if you want to get good business, you kind of need a degree for that. Like, people have more confidence in those with degrees than not, because the people with degrees, it's like, well, they went to school and learned about all this stuff, they know what they're doing. You know, they, they likely just went, took that class, got the diploma, left, it all went in one year, out the other, whatever, but like, yeah, I could do that, but it's a lot of time and work, and I'm also writing on the side, too. <laughs> and I kind of need to get off my computer. I guess that's fair. Finished I mean... editing a video and filmed a new one today. Been doing good. Hey, good for you, Binge. Hmm. Hmm. I would recommend but... Waitress. I used to be a waiter. I've been looking at those jobs, too. Uh, I've been, again, I've been sending out resumes. I really haven't heard anything back yet. But, you know, when I do get a job and whatever, I will definitely let you all know because the job will definitely, probably, impact some streaming hours. But we will see when we get there. Basically, Storm will disappear and you won't see any more streams. That's how you know they got a <laughs> job. I'm kidding. Target might be wanting to give you an opportunity to work as a cashier. Right now, they plan to make changes with self-checkout, which hopefully would mean... They need more cashiers, and they actually hire <laughs> the cashiers to do it. Yeah, probably. I'll I'll see about that. Again, I've been keeping my eye open on places. I've been applying where I think I can actually, you know, do work and stuff like effective work. I mean, I when I I didn't start at McDonald's, but like I eventually just was like, you know what, McDonald's, whatever. For yeah. now, and then I went for like a better job. I work at Joseph A. Banks now as a tailor and stuff like that. Uh, do the tailoring stuff, and, you know. So that's something I've come to enjoy more. Get to help people with suits and all that. These little buggers work in a movie theater, you get free popcorn. Uh, don't you get like free movies too, technically, or no? I I think it depends on the theater. Like, not all theaters have those perks. Try Denny's? I don't think I want to work at Denny's. <laughs> Why not? Denny's has delicious food. I don't work anywhere. Be Arby's. They have the meats after ah, all. The Arby's? Why Arby's? The only thing good there is their fries. How about Staples? There's this one back to school ad that Staples ran a few years ago. I don't know why it stuck. It just did. I found it absolutely hilarious. I haven't seen a Staples ad in forever. And it opened with, it's back to school time at Staples. <laughs> with like <laughs> full, full vibrato and everything. Like the dude was so hyped. For it being back to school time at Staples. Bro was like, uh, the dude from Arby's commercials. We have the meats. Just so excited. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When my friend worked at the theater, we got free popcorn and movies if we went with him. So that was fun. Never worked at Arby's though. Okay. Ne no, he said never work at Arby's. <laughs> never. <laughs> that too. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to work in, like, a fast food Fast food? Chain. You have to have a lot of patience. Yeah. That's like... You know, you get the the weird customers everywhere, you know? But yeah, I feel yeah. like it definitely is more of a problem when it comes to, like, food and stuff. Because food's very serious. Like, if a figurine breaks and the person's upset, sure, you can, like, order another figurine. It's not a huge issue. But when it's, like food 
Like, it's, you know, if you order a burger, if it's undercooked, then it can definitely cause uh, issues, is sickness, uh, the, you know, if you put the wrong things in the food that someone's allergic to, you can trigger a severe allergic reaction, and uh, generally speaking, Starbucks people just are really vicious about Starbucks. Yo. Wait, Starbucks, why Starbucks? Because Starbucks feels like a cult sometimes. I don't go to Starbucks for a very good reason. I don't go to Starbucks because their coffee makes me react in not good ways. Their like, coffee I is like, just garbage. I like not... <laughs> coffee. I like to drink it sometimes. It helps with my migraines. But Starbucks coffee? Like, I, j I don't know if it's like the amount of caffeine that they put in it or like the beans and how they're preparing it or what but my body is just never happy after having a starbucks coffee i just think starbucks is really garbage for a bunch of beans coming out of dirt <laughs> it's like i paid what how much is starbucks nowadays i don't know expensive it's just too expensive for what it it's is. It's too expensive for not a good quality product, yeah. Try Death Wish coffee? Sounds like... <laughs> Y'all, if you like coffee and you haven't tried Ethiopian beans yet, I highly recommend buying yourself a bag of Ethiopian beans. And beans. not like the pre-ground stuff either, but like... The beans that you have to grind down yourself. Get you a bag of, of that. Like, the Ethiopians looking? know how to do coffee, right? Actually, that's where I fell in love with coffee, was... <laughs> Ethiopia Middle School. It was their, uh... Like, coffee celebration day. I forget, like, the actual name for it, but it, you know, it was their day for celebrating coffee, and... I was in an Ethiopian studies class, and on that day, my teacher brought us outside and got, like, this whole traditional Ethiopian, um, like, bean roaster slash, uh, like, coffee pot thing, and he poured us all a cup of coffee. He was like, technically, I'm not supposed to be giving this to you, kids, so you only get one cup, and it was like little shot cups. But see, the thing is, uh, two of my friends at the time didn't actually like the coffee, and I liked the coffee, so I just took it from them, and then the next class was P.E., so I ran like three laps around the track before I crashed. <laughs> and when I crashed, oh boy, I crashed ha ha hard, but the coffee was so good! And that was the only year I had Ethiopian studies, and I never had another cup of that delicious coffee again. But we got the Ethiopian beans, so that's... That's fine. It just doesn't taste the same way. Unfortunately. Oh my god, our burrito minions are summoning up my butthole. Oh my god! Stop spitting at me! Oh, this is bad. My Starbucks order is venti water. <laughs> Who goes to Starbucks oh. just to get water? I guess Eliza does, but who else would do that? They charge you like seven bucks for the water. Starbucks is just so good. If anything, I learned Costco is a good company compared to other <laughs> companies. In comparison, Costco, yes. Get a good price, get good food. You know. I like the, uh... The berry smoothies that they do in the winter. Like, almost every time I go to Costco- Oh no, that one's for you. I already got my two. I picked mine up. 
No, no, no. It dropped four. I got two. You get two. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like every other time, uh, every like third time, I go to Costco, I get myself a smoothie. So I get myself a slice of pizza. Because, God, the pizzas are huge. I gotta be in the mood to have a Costco pizza. Man. That's kind of rare. What is this? Like in the bedroom kind of stuff? You gotta be in the mood to get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I gotta be hungry and I gotta be like hungry oh, for okay. anything sort of thing. <laughs> you know? I gotta put on some music just to, to get you wanting pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You could try to work on a cruise line. American cruise lines do river cruises. Oh boy, never let a woman pilot a boat. Let's see. No, yeah, but I mean, like, go to match. It would be interesting working on a cruise liner, but the thing is, I feel like being away from home. Oh no, be... cruise liners are not a good place to work in. I've heard the working conditions, what they're kind of like on other cruise lines. I'm not sure about American, but. It can be kind of atrocious. It can be probably stressful too. Mm-hmm. If you find anything with the attack speed, by the way, please let me know. Because I have the three charge or the three shot arrow thing. Yeah, you want attack speed and you also want crits. Yep. That would exactly be right. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I've I believe I've missed some chat messages here. Work for Mr. Bees? <laughs> I don't think he'd take me. I mean, we don't live far from him, technically. Oh, he lives in this area? He lives in North Carolina. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. 20% off food. Unless he moved, then that's different. But us, the last time I remember, he lived in North Carolina, not far from my cousins. Mm. Understandable. Office supply jobs are hit or miss. I deal Attack with a lot of speed, elderly and it's 50-50. Either the nicest or the rudest people you meet. Sometimes racist. Yeah, look, if people say that, you know, racism's you know, done and dusted, it is not. You, you're you just not seeing a whole lot of it anymore. Unfortunately, it's just never gonna be done and dusted and that's the Well, problem. you're asking humans to change uh, human nature, and I'd say racism kind of extends, and this is not like an excuse for it, but it does extend no. from that tribalistic uh, nature within us. Like, oh, you look different from us? Then you must be, you know, mean and rude. When that's not the case. So it's it's really hard to stamp something out like that. And there will always be those people that are like that. There's like 8 billion people on the planet. There's always going to be <laughs> somebody <laughs> who's yeah. not the good person and, you know, thinks those kind of things. Which is it's unfortunate, just... but true. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's something that's always going to be a thing now. Being the better person is always the, the better thing to do, of course. Yep. I found a soldier syringe earlier. Thank goodness for that. But, like, I need more. You need more. You need more syringes. Right. I want more Do so want just... missiles. What is that? It's uh, it has a chance to fire <laughs> missiles. Yeah, I'd want that unless we get the uh, shrimp one. Oh well, I found a shrimp one already. You got find... a shrimp one already? Yeah, but if I oh. find another one, it can be for you. <laughs> I want to play with the shrimp a little. Okay. <laughs> Never work for phone calling agencies, they're miserable. Dude, I would imagine working for call centers is just a nightmare and a half anyway. You gotta have no soul to work at one. And if you well, go imagine in- imagine me working there, I'm like the most- I like being so cheerful, just imagine yeah. you like yelling at me and I'm like, Alright, have a nice day! 
Wax Quell. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, it gives you a little pep to your jump. That's weird. You really need two of them to make them more useful. Yeah, I'm noticing. It's not really that good. It's not making me god, so it's garbage. <laughs> yeah, you really need, like, you need two to make it more viable, and you need five to really have fun. That's kind of my rule for wax quails. What is that? Are you doing nothing? I think I'm gonna take this. What? <laughs> is that it? Uh, syringe. Sweet. Yay! Oh, there's some at the back here. Oh, you didn't go all the way back. Oh, I didn't. You're right. What kind of risk of rain player are you? Not going all the way to the back. Ooh, alien head. That will work better on me, because that's skill cooldowns. Yeah, you can take that one. How do I become a pro singer and get my own music label? I don't know. Google it. <laughs> but I can only take you as far as vocal lessons. After that, I have no idea what it's like to be a singer. Like, it's, it's like a pop singer or a... Uh, or like Ooh. just a oh, mainstream singer in general. It's stressful. But being signed to a label is probably not as good as you might think it is. Imagine like, okay. So you know that freedom you have to be your own person? Yeah, throw that out the window. Do you yeah. Know? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I can sing. I can. A reasonable yeah. income? Nah, forget about it. You don't get one. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. Oh, I think okay. we got everything, yeah. Yeah, I do singing. I just don't do it professionally, because one thing is, I just don't really care to do it professionally. Yeah, I And I've kind of stopped singing in general as well. It's mm -hmm. just... It's meh. In I just, school, uh, I took choir classes. But since leaving school, I haven't really sung a whole lot, so my voice isn't what it used to be. I used to do... I used to teach, actually. The um, I used to be my music teacher's assistant. And, you know, I have a little diploma thing for that, which is nice, mm. which is nice. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, you know, it's just... It's... For me, I get stressed out from it, but I enjoy it a lot. It's a love-hate relationship. Because I want to do so good, but every single mistake I make, I notice it. Probably the most. Well, no teacher is perfect. Wow, well, gang, let's go. Hey. Funny, I didn't actually start liking choir until I met one very specific choir teacher, and he was really passionate about it, like, more so than any other teacher I had before and after him. Like, they, you could you could tell that he really wanted us to, to do well. I mean, you know, all teachers want their students to do well, but he was like... I'm gonna turn you into singers. I'm I'm gonna sit you down. We're gonna do all these breathing exercises. You're gonna, you know, do these special massages to like you know help loosen your your muscles or whatever. Cause you know the if you're all wound up tight, your voice actually sounds a little different. Believe it or not, and yeah. yeah so he did a bunch of uh, like special vocal exercises with us and. We were really good. And then after him, I had a really horrible teacher that completely destroyed my range. And then I had him again, which was fun, but that was last year I did choir. And I haven't really, I haven't done any singing really since then. I mean, I still sing kind of, but not as much as I used to. I used to have a 
a music teacher called Mr. E. We fucking loved him. He was such an amazing teacher. Am I allowed to curse? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, just I'll, just, I'll just bleep it out if it makes it into the final cut. Oh, okay. My bad. No, it's cool. Uh, but... So, this name was Mr. E, right? And he would get us these, uh... Girl Scout cookies. The mint Girl Scout cookies every once in a while. And, oh, I no love way. it so much. Because what would happen would be... On the back of the mint Girl Scout cookies would be the letter E. So... <laughs> We'd make a joke that it was a mystery <laughs> why the thing was back there. It was just, he was such a fun teacher to have. <laughs> no! Oh, goodbye, syringe. <laughs> goodbye, no! syringe. Don't worry, we'll find you more. You jerk. You Don't. jerk. <laughs> Don't kill Newt. We like Newt. Hmm. How dare you, Newt. You took my orange! <laughs> ah. Don't mind me overshooting the portal. This is all Newt's fault. <laughs> I joined to get better at singing, mainly because my friends were in it, but I loved it, and I had one of my favorite... Sweetest teachers ever. We all loved her. That's nice. The sweet teachers that believe in us are honestly the best. Yeah. I noticed with, like, you know, boys, typically. You know, mm -hmm. not just boys, but it, t it tended to be a a just a trend with them. Was a lot of them would join because either their friends were in it, and a band was full, or it was an easy A. And in middle school, band was always full, so we got a lot of kids who just did not want to be in choir. And, oh fun. boy, that choir teacher whipped them into shape real fast. I joined choir because, well, I always been into singing. Um, that's why I just joined choir. I was like, oh, I like music, so. Yeah, singing's great. Such a fun thing to do. Plus, I love choir music. Like, it's some of the best music out there, in Thank my opinion. Thank you for opinion. the crowbar, by the way. Huh? Thank you for the crowbar, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, when I saw that it said you found a crowbar, I was worried you were going to take it. <laughs> and then you pinged it, and I was like, oh. Yeah, if I just leave stuff lying around, feel free to take it. it usually means I just don't want it. Though I'll usually ping it. Do you not it. want crowbars? Oh, well, they're nice. They're better on you, though. And that I have true. I have the shrimp. So I already got the shrimp. my damage. What's the shurikens? Oh, you gotta aim with those. Do I really, though? Yes. Uh, they go towards your cursor, not where the auto aim. Then they're target. useless on me. That's I mean, sad. if you aim good, then they, you can put them to some <laughs> use. You're talking to a huntress main <laughs> who plays on controller. <laughs> Shame. Uh, that two combination Shame. right there should tell you how my aim is. <laughs> I joined th singing because I think I'm good at singing. Join singing. Join choir. And that's fine. Like, you know, you join choir to improve upon your singing abilities. Even if you don't have any, you can learn how to sing. And you can become Beyonce. I joined choir literally thinking I have no singing skill. And I still do that. I still constantly say that to the same people will be like, no, you can sing and all that stuff. And I'll, I just refuse to accept that. I just, I don't know. It doesn't feel humbling if I go out being like, I could sing. I like just, I like just saying I can. I don't know. <laughs> it's easier to say I suck at singing. <laughs> it's easier to put yourself down, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally me though. It's just easier to put myself down. Bro, I have to try really hard 
on like because some of the uh jobs ask for like cover letters and stuff i have to try really hard to not be self-deprecating or anything it's like <laughs> no if i'm self-deprecating too much or like at all then you know that that might come off the wrong way and you know i don't want to come off the wrong way that's fair that's honestly a fair thing to do like I guess one thing I guess I definitely need to be more careful of with myself is just I need to stop like downing myself constantly. And I get a lot of people will be like, oh, don't say that about yourself. But the reality of my mental mind is that none of it, I think. Like, <laughs> like I'll say, oh, I suck or something like that, but I don't actually think that. I just say that so that way people stop complimenting me. Because <laughs> uh, I don't... A I feel over so there for you. embarrassed when I get complimented. I just, I don't know. You don't like compliments. I get embarrassed because it's like I don't deserve them in my opinion. I really don't think I deserve them. If anything, the other person deserves more compliments than me. I just think I'm just, I'm just living. I'm just trying to live my life. You deserve all the compliments, Cookie. No, you. No, you. you. The You're <laughs> the writer here. You work so hard. Me, I literally just press stream and then stream. You work non-stop so hard. You have a book you're writing. Mm -hmm. I think you deserve the compliments way more because you have the work and the effort to show for it. Yeah, but I shouldn't hog all of them, you know? Like, you're still cool. <laughs> I feel like you're you weren't gamer. expecting that response. No, I was not expecting that response. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you're a good gamer too. Thank you. I mean, I'm alright. I used to be extremely good at gaming. Now I'm just really bad. <laughs> I used to be so- my reaction time used to be so good. I would play like Mario speed running and everything, and I would actually just like be so good. And then, I, I guess I like just stopped playing for a long time, because I focused on exercising for You're a while. You're getting old. Yeah, and then- oh no. Well, that's fine. I mean, hey, you're still better at Warframe than me. Obviously. You play Warframe now. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Well, I played it a uh, couple years ago. That was horrible. But I haven't picked up Modern Warframe. It's just, it's not the same. Oh, modern after this, Warframe. After this stream, I wanna... <laughs> there's a couple Warframe videos I want to send you. There's a couple what? Warframe videos that I want to send you, so if you remind me, I'll do that. Alright. I think you will find them humorous. If they involve Wisp, I... <laughs> a lot of the memes I've seen involve Wisp. What is this? Molten Perforator. Chance to hit to fire magma balls. It gives you fireball ability. Killing an enemy gives you a burst of movement speed. You said Modern Warframe and I heard Modern Warfare. I don't even play either. <laughs> That's what I heard too. <laughs> I thought you said Modern Warfare. <laughs> no, Warframe. And yes, I do mean Modern Warframe because this Warframe is not at all like the Warframe that uh, my dad used to play. No, not at all. But because like the story's kind of changed more. And, um, it's but the even... good news on it is that the game is still 100% free, which is nice. It's not even yeah. the story, it's, uh, I want to say more the, like, mechanics and stuff, too. Oh, the mechanics have definitely changed, yeah. yeah. It, was it maybe the Eximus that drove him away? I, I don't really know, I'd have to ask him again, because this is, like, years ago. Okay, years ago, years ago. I'm trying to think of what changed. The game's gotten better, they've gotten better at doing quality of life things, too. <laughs> uh... It was around the time when Loki was kind of broken, when it came to, like, traversal and stuff. Was he a Loki main? He was a Loki main, and he really uh, liked using Loki to break the game. It was it was pretty fun to watch him, some, like, run around. There's, a, there's an image of an augment, right? Uh -huh. So, uh, there's an image of an augment, and it's basically Loki, right? Mm -hmm. His ability gives him 300 stack or 300 status effects on an enemy <laughs> what and that's not what it's supposed to say 
It's supposed to say three, but they accidentally put 300. <laughs> oh, does it apply all 300 or is it just three? No, it's just three. It's not out yet. It was a, uh, it was one of under one of their dev streams, and they didn't mean to put 300. That was a typo. So they said, <laughs> but a lot of people in the a lot of people were like, please just leave it at 300. <laughs> <laughs> Virtue your eyes. Just leave it at 300. Make it broken, please. No, get me away. Thank you. Aha. Oh. You praising yourself, okay, so I want to say also, like, if you're praising yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Be proud of yourself for the things you do. That's always a good thing to do. Me, it's just me, a personal thing. I always worry I'm going to get egotistical. That's just me. I just worry I'm going to let the ego go to my head, so I always say the opposite and say, like, oh, you know, I'm not that good or stuff like that. To, to down myself and, you know, humble myself, I guess. So, like, there's a, there's certainly a healthy dose of narcissism somewhere. That yeah, I feel yeah, like everyone definitely. should have. But if it goes beyond that, yeah, you're kind of an ass. But yeah, someone in your chat was like, they get afraid that they're when they're good at saying they're good at something, they may come mm -hmm. off as presumptuous. But the thing is, like, there's, you're, it's okay well, to praise yourself for something. That's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I feel like at that point, you kind of also need to recognize the line. Because there is a line where you do cross into pretentious territory. Right, but it's right. not like, it depends on the situation. It depends on the, the thing you're talking about. It depends on the person you're talking to and you know, what's going on. It's very situational. So you wouldn't necessarily cross into pretentiousness too much. If you're with the right people and it's the right mood, of course. I, I get very weird about self-promoting, actually. Like, I don't... It's not that I don't like talking about, like, being a writer and... Talking about the writing process and stuff. It's just that, like... A, I feel like when I start to nerd out about it, that kind of turns people off because they don't really understand what I'm saying and I, and I just kind of like, oh, I wasn't supposed to do this or say this or whatever. And then on the other hand, B, like, it's like, oh, I'm a writer, I do writing things, here's my book, and just, and, you know, it's the blank stare. Oh, cool, you're a writer, that's awesome, keep it up, and then, and then they walk away. I got that a lot in school, so I'm a little... Yeah, but school kids can be kind of assholes. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, if you only experience it in one place, and then you spend cooped up in your house for like two years, uh... That kind of sits with you for a long time and you never really get out of that bubble i guess that's fair but at the same time don't be afraid to get out of that bubble yeah. like yeah and i and this is just me like i know this is me saying this but it's not the same as actually doing it like doing it can be a lot more stressful and can be a lot and more like sometimes it needs to be said you know right that's i'm just saying that don't be afraid though like you step out of your comfort zone sometimes and the more you do it the more you'll like get used to it yeah, that's fair. Like, just be, you know, it's, if you never take the first step, are you ever gonna get that, like, opportunity done? <laughs> you, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, yeah. Right, exactly. Oh my god, who's this dude? What did I summon? Oh, I uh, summoned a clay, clay thingy. Dune Strider. Ah, oh, yeah. The big boy. Black hole, go! A black hole's good. Whoop! Don't die. Until they start dying. I guess the other thing that I'm like, it's not a huge concern, but it's like sometimes I think about it and I get really self conscious about it is like, um, you know, earlier I mentioned the difference between well not really the difference between but like you know there everyone should have a healthy dose of narcissism in them mm -hmm. i feel like the, the sometimes the narcissism gets a little bit too much it's like yeah i have a i have a youtube channel and i'm an influencer and yada yada i feel like it's way i'm going a little bit too far 
I don't sometimes. Think so. I know. I'm pretty sure I don't. And again, it is my channel, so I can. So it's like you know, I make the jokes. It's my channel. I can do whatever the hell I want. I can. Right. But I don't want to. I don't want that to get away from me don't too much. Yet. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's it, like you said, it's your channel. You shouldn't be ashamed to promote your own channel. Oh wait, I'm trading in things for needles. Oh, you found an attack speed printer. Mhm. Mm nice. I'm gonna try to grab six of them. Ooh. Oh, you're over there. Hang on, I'm coming. Are you gonna get some too? Yeah, no, I'm gonna help you fight these guys. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm dead. Uh huh. I see. I got six of them though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take like one or two. They took your rusty key. I mean, ah, that's kind of. Yeah, rusty key is kind of meh. Oh, your crowbar though. It's fine, I got shrimp. Like, I know it's random what item it takes, but it feels like. Just sometimes. It feels like the printers prioritize, like, single item stacks first. Yeah. And then everything else, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case, and I'm just being conspiratorial. You got this. My controller is vibrating violently. <laughs> it's like, brrrr. Even Holy though you're shit. dead, you must get the vibes. Oh, he's already dead? Okay. No, it's not dead yet. Well, no, the first guy was dead. Oh yeah, the first guy's dead. You're murdering them. Speaking of which, didn't they say there's a murder drones announcement coming? Yeah, they uploaded the trailer today, earlier today. I haven't watched it. I'm just kind of waiting for the actual episode to drop now. Now, what would you do if you got the opportunity to work on murder drones? Was well, like a writer or just any position? Writer, voice actor, anything. Oh. Anything at all. Well, okay, if it was a writing position, because I think that would be the thing I would most likely be hired for. I would probably have a bit of a freak out and then get right to work. You'd freak out be like, wait, alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. alright, I'm Hold here. Together. I got this. <laughs> Focus. This is your time to shine. Basically. Yeah. I wish writers got more credit for stuff. I do too. Because I get it like, okay, they put their names and everything and all that. But at the same time, if I'm honest, there's a lot of stuff I don't know the names of the writers for. Like, and it's just because a lot of people just watch the show, don't even watch the credits, and just... That's it. Yeah, and you know, like, writers aren't usually like public figures either. They just kind of right. work behind the scenes. A lot of writers you wouldn't even know are writers because they just don't, they don't advertise themselves as writers. <laughs> there were like five kids in my school in Japan that were writers that I didn't know were writers until we all got together for a creative nonfiction class. It was like, oh, you're a writer too? You like writing as well? Oh, I'm not crazy? <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy, you are. But, yeah, there, there are just some, like, writers out there that I feel like, you know, they're cool. And then they're either saddled with, like, horrible projects, or the project does really well, and but the, you know, no one really talks about the writers much, and it's like, it would be cool if there were more writers out there. That were willing well, to put uh, themselves out there that people knew. I have a bunch of uh, artist friends. I'm actually in the Discord server with a bunch of artist friends, including some that are extremely well popular known. But, God, it's like, I, I see them overwork themselves so much. Mm -hmm. And some of them do writing too, but like still, it's like, ah. Uh... <laughs> it's like, for the amount of like, uh, what is it? The, the amount of writers that are in the world, like, publishing stuff, then not even, like, in Hollywood and, like, the TV business, but just, like, 
you know, talking about publishing, just publishing. Mm -hmm. They are so cutthroat for attention. It's yeah. insane, especially nowadays when, like, uh, not a lot of people are reading anymore. Yeah, definitely, because it's like, it's, I just think, uh, it's so, the writing spear is so different than what it used to be. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like nowadays, what? nowadays you really need something in, in the visual medium. You can't just write like a regular book anymore. It, it You gotta write a book and then you gotta adapt it into like a graphic novel. And then if you get picked up by a network for like a TV show or a cartoon, then like, you know, that would be cool. You really need something in a visual medium now in order to grab a lot of people's attentions because reading is becoming niche again. Like, it was kind of niche before, but it's becoming even more niche. I mean, it's kind of sad. I really would have liked it to be... I mean, large monster and clean Like, I understand why. It's just, it's just sad. But I try not to let that get me down, you know? Don't stop yeah, nerding out. I yeah. think it's great. I love hearing about the writing process. Of course. I mean, this is <laughs> this is my channel. I can do whatever the hell I want. And I do want to talk about, you know, more writing things in the future. But I'm horrible at actually sitting down and... Oh. <laughs> Mushrooms. Yeah. The group of them, ya. they all started dropping, like, the lava things on me. I hear ya. Those. Yeah. I'm uh, like, yeah, I'm kind of horrible at sitting down and writing a script for a video and then putting it together into a video and. I don't know. I think you do a really good job at it. Well, yeah, when I actually do it, it's it's fine. But you have it's the like, credit card. I do have the credit card. What did you tell me? To uh, cause you died. No, that's not... <laughs> like, okay. At this point in the game, I don't really care about the credit card. Like, sure, you can eke out a couple more items, but it's not that much. I need more items. I died. <laughs> I'm well, you too can't squishy. get him anyway. Come on. I want one run to get to the moon tonight. Wee hee hees. <laughs> oh. Do. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I can't do anything about burning. <laughs> God. All right, I think. I think we got time for one more run. Alright, let's try to get to the moon with this one. Please get to the moon! I'm sorry, I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's totally also, fine. I do agree with people in chat about the don't stop nerding out about the process. Like, it's something you're extremely passionate about. Don't suppress your passions. Oh, of course. You know, that's the, the one good thing about the internet, is that you can geek out about anything, and you can find your people. And you don't feel so alone. Do you ever feel alone? Mm, sometimes, but you know, that's like, I'm feeling down. I'm so alone. Aww. No one understands me, but that's not like. No, if you ever need to like talk to anyone, I'm here. You just, even if it's geeky now, I'm totally down to listen to it all. Of course. Wake up, dog. We got things to kill. Storm wants to attack Mendy and Lemurian. <laughs> you I think he's dead, Storm. <laughs> don't get to live. <laughs> you don't get to live. I am a dog with a mission. <laughs> She's got that dog in her. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to unlock that character one day. Well, whenever you wanna, and if you need help, feel free to ask. I am willing and able. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, I know I can immediately go to you about this game, because I know you love this game. It's 
So think of like I've, I'm on that Warframe grind. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, I understand. Uh, and I'm I'm on the Baldur's Gate three one two because I'm like I'm trying to focus on one game or two games at a time now. It's actually been really hard to do that because you ever notice you get like too many games and you're just like oh god. Yeah, and then it's like you start one, but then you start another, and then you start another, and then you got three games that you haven't finished yet. It's, it's exactly that. I have like probably ten or twelve games. Oof. That I need to that I've started and haven't finished, and then I have Ghost of Tsushima coming up soon, oh. and I'm like I will be one million percent playing that. Cookie, no. Boy, what's wrong with Ghost of Tsushima? <laughs> Not nothing, just one game at a time. Come on. I know, but like it's such a good game. I know. I mean, I guess I could hold off on it until I finish a few other games, but still. And I'm already done with Warframe technically, but it's a, you know, it's a multiplayer. It's kind of like wasn't an aspect of, you know, the story never ends. Yeah. Oh, well, my rule of thumb with new games is that I do not get a new one until I finish whatever one I'm working on currently. That's definitely a strength of yours and a weakness of mine. <laughs> It's that delayed gratification cookie. You gotta train it up. Well, see, like, there's even Red Dead Redemption, and that's a great game. Bro! But I, like, haven't finished it. I think uh, the last part I did was when Micah just kills the entire town. Oh. Is that have a spoiler? Wait, have no, you played I've it? No, I've not played it, no. Uh, no, it's not a spoiler. It's, well, it's, it's not a spoiler anymore because you've spoiled it. <laughs> it's not a spoiler because you don't know what, who, or what, or where <laughs> that is. I am confused. <laughs> or what I'm talking about, so. <laughs> Do you intend on playing Red Dead Redemption one day? Probably not. I don't uh, know. That, that, that might change. That might change in the I, future. I think it's a good game. If you like the western style of games and you're okay with a little bit more violence, stuff like that. Bro, I'm- I just finished you were literally Borderlands. literally playing Risk of Rain too. I just- I just finished Borderlands and I'm starting New Game Plus and I'm working through the DLC. I'm- I'm okay. <laughs> Me being like, if you're okay with violence, meanwhile we're playing Risk of Rain too. <laughs> I don't know, Storm, it might be too violent for you. <laughs> Bubby Storm needs to be coddled. <laughs> Bring it on! Blood, sweat, and tears! Raw. Have you ever watched Matilda? The, uh... Movie. Yes, I have. Uh, when you said blood, sweat, and tears, that reminded me of the, uh, the part where she's gives her- that gives the boy the cake. And she's Aww. like, uh, the lunch lady brings out the big chocolate cake and she's like, This was made with her blood, sweat, and tears all in this cake and all this stuff. Uh, whatever that no. mean lady's name is. Uh, miss, I want to say it was something along the lines of Trenchable. Trunchworth? Oh god. I don't was know. It? Oh, something. This is something. It was a name. <laughs> it was a name that existed at some point in time given to a character. For sure. She was a character for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I didn't mean to take the teddy bear. Uh, we. What Done. things do you need? We done. I think we've got no, everything. No, I still have a the still have chest. Okay. Still have chest on me. Oh, well, let me know when you're done, and I'll hit the button. I think I'm on the way to you. Uh, one moment. I'm just making the final look around, just to be sure. Yes, sir. I'm just taking little glances. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Cha ja, cha ja, cha. Ja. Stone Titan. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Bro leveled up. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I healed up. <laughs> I healed. 
He really said, nah, this isn't my final form. What do we get? I need this thing. I'll take this one, the hunter's weapon. I know you needed the skull. I didn't really get any good stuff this time. I think the best thing I got was the crowbar. The one crowbar I got. But unfortunately, all the other stuff wasn't really that good. Well, you got damage, you got some defense, you got some healing, and you got movement speed. I think that's pretty well-rounded. Yeah, but it's not God. <laughs> <laughs> God doesn't happen for another few levels. Hmm... I'm sorry to say. Well, when God drops out of the chest, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> New item. God. Become God. <laughs> God. Con contractual obligation with God. You know, I was talking with a friend earlier today, right? Yeah. I was oh, talking with friends. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I'm literally talking to a friend right now. Uh, <laughs> Yay! Uh, but, like... Uh, you know, one of the things I felt sad because, well, not sad, but, like, they were going through a thing where they're making a game. They're making games at the moment. Ooh. And they, they go through this thing where, I guess, a lot of people do this to themselves, unfortunately, where they're like, oh, you know, the game's not gonna pop off, the Ooh. game's not gonna Ooh. be big, stuff like that. And I explained to them, oh my god, my health. Uh, I explained to them that it shouldn't be about the game exploding to them should be more a sense of accomplishment for even making a game in the first place i just missed all of them oh yeah of course like you like know, yes if the, the game pops off that's great if but it pops off time, it pops off but first right. and foremost you want a quality product right and if this is like their first game then yeah, they should be more focused on quality rather than the number of people playing it day one. Right. Oh. Uh. You know, never underestimate the power of word of mouth. Equipment charge. Hold on, additional equipment charge. Oh my Is gosh, you little rat. It for. Nope. Why are there two big bubbles? Uh, because sometimes they spawn as two. I think, so, like, even rarer, they come in, uh, threes. Oh, they're doing damage to me. Hang on. This should be... Oh, you open something? You open something. You me? Actually, no, you didn't open something. There we go. There's one of them? Oh, no, They're down now. Them. Sweet. Ooh, quick glasses or speed up? Mm. Quick glasses. Eh. Risk of Rain 2, the search for God. <laughs> God's dead, no. And we killed him. I mean... Technically speaking, in the first game, we did kind of kill this planet's god. Didn't we kill, like, another god as well? Yeah. In this game? Yeah, so in the first game, the dude's name was Providence. And in the second game, it's Mithrix. And then there's going to be a DLC, which is going to include one of the brothers creations because one of them could breathe life into things but was not creative the other one was creative but could not uh breathe life but into is things. god just a reference to the devs i don't know <laughs> one was creative and could breathe life into or one was creative and couldn't bring life into things the other one was not creative could, but could breathe life into things <laughs> However you want to see what it, but that's the... basically how it goes. So, the first god, Providence, he was the nicer one of the two. 
Um, if y'all are wondering about the, the portals that we're going through, they were made by Providence, or no, they weren't made by Providence. They were made by Mithrix at Providence's request. Because, yes, I think that's right. It's either or. Either Providence made it, or he had his brother make it and made them without an exit. So all the portals were one way, and he got his brother stuck on the moon because he was that much of an ass. <laughs> And then later on, there was this ship that was flying past the planet. And Providence decided to uh, raid the, the ship, which is what the first game's all about. And it crashes the ship and... You basically fight across the alien planet to get back to the ship where you fight Providence and you kill Providence and then the whoever survivor you choose to survive as, they escape. And that's the end of the first one and then Who the second one. Who is burning me? Oh, what did I? Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. The fucking burning one. All anyway. oh, the rats, they ganged up on me over there. So sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's not your fault. Look at all the rats over there. <laughs> you see? They all ganged up on me. And then there was a, there was one of those licky things that... that it was uh, a rat race. Yeah, it was uh, one of the licky things. And then they, uh, one of them had burning. So. Yeah, I, I just, saw. So I just slowly burned to death. You want to make a video game? I would, you know, I would totally love to see. See, that's the thing. Like, if I, I make a video if game I too, a, if I ever had like a crap ton of money to just throw away, right? Then, I think what I would do is I would hold like a competition, right, where whoever can make the best game just wins a crap ton of money. But that would be like a game jam. Yeah, kind of like a game jam. That would be so cool, though. I would love to do something like that one day. I think game uh, jams like would be game fun. Jam. Yeah, and then like, you know, if I was to do big game jam, I guess what I'd do is I'd have the winner win five thousand dollars. You know. If I if I was to do something like that one day. Five thousand's the right amount, right? Yeah, game jams don't really have big prize pools unless you're an influencer doing it for clout. For clout I'm not trying to do it for clout. <laughs> oh, I'm not <laughs> Trying to I just, insinuate that you would, but I know that I there's wanna, some out there that do. I just want to do it because I think it'd be a cool thing. And also because, you know, if they did win $5,000, I think they could maybe, like, go somewhere with making their own game. I don't oh, know yeah, games sure. cost way more than $5,000. There's no, like, <laughs> games probably cost way more than that. But still, like, I just, I know, I think it'd be a nice thing. Everyone shame the controller player. Shame. Huh? What do you mean? Shame. I'm not there, I'm dead. Exactly, I'm shaming your dead body. <laughs> you see this bowling? Friendship over. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I looked into, like, you know, the actual cost for uh, making a game because there was a conversation in my server of, like, Hey, why don't we just make a game? And oh my god, it requires a lot of money. <laughs> it requires too much money. And I'm sure some people can make games with like Epic Games free assets and stuff like that. that oh yeah, make. definitely like games on a budget, but you're really working on like passion there and you know, it's like <laughs> Don't right, want it to right. just be passion. I want it to be like a paid position. Like people work better when it's paid. Right. Well, <laughs> or at least, you know, that's the, the hope. Most of them do. Unfortunately, there are some companies that make really bad games. <laughs> Bro's healing! Are you gonna get eaten by this teapot? I don't know. 
Are you gonna stop healing? Oh. Ah, no! Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You wanna do one more round just for fun? Sure. One more. Last one of the night, guys. I'm sorry, by the way. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Things happen. I know. I just feel bad. I feel like, you know, maybe I could have gotten us to the moon. And I said I just kind of... Uh, when I was in high school, our final exam in coding was to use a ton of coding things I didn't understand. So instead, I programmed a ton of Wizard 101 spells as, like, if statements and RNG things and didn't do the actual assignment, I got 100% because it was super big. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is just how much nonsense you can cram into a... thing. Rather than what you actually put in it. Right. Well, also, it's like... There's, uh... There's stuff that, like, the, the worst feeling is when a game comes out, right? And it gets hyped up for many years, and it just sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the That's worst. That's been happening and I always a end lot feeling... lately. Yeah, it really has. And it's like, I, I always feel bad for, like, developers that, you know, work on it. Because I'm pretty sure they don't make the game with the intention of it being a horrible game. Like, there's probably stuff that happened behind the scenes... That unfortunately caused this stuff and it caused like this kind of stuff whether it's overwork being rushed or stuff like that but you know it's like it has been happening a lot lately and it's just kind of it's like as me. much as i want to give the devs the benefit of a doubt like it's been too much of a trend to ignore yeah definitely a lot of games do this whole thing where uh, you know, they release an unfinished product and then they, you know, they're like, oh, we'll fix it later. Yeah, fix it. But that's, that's such a horrible mindset. I wish they lose that mindset. Like, yes, you Me can too. patch it in post, but that's like, that's a luxury that people are just taking for granted nowadays. Like, just because you can patch it, bad. like, just because you can patch it in post does not mean you should ship a horrible product. Yeah, Bethesda unfortunately did that with 76, where they were like, you know, people were so hyped about it, so excited. People paid $260 for the pre-order, and then... No like, Man's Sky was a special case, guys. Don't <laughs> no think Man's... don't think you could be the next No Man's Sky. Yeah, it's just so... it's so... And I, and I know for a fact they did this because they know people will pay, regardless. People oh yeah, definitely. Like it's it's all just another money making scheme. Like <laughs> look at how many things are out on early access that never get finished. Satisfactory? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 1.0 is actually super soon. I don't know how soon, but uh, th <laughs> they should be doing their beta any month now. I haven't heard back. Uh, I think I think Satisfactory is actually a good game. Oh no, though. Satisfactory is definitely going to come out. Like they've been pretty good on their promises. Yeah, see, like, that's, but what I mean by, like, games that go on early access and don't finish probably would be more along the lines of, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of some. Do you have any good examples, actually, on that one? I do, kind of. It's not, like, it doesn't exactly fit the, uh, what we're talking about, but there was this game that I, I kind of, I played it on and off. I have it in my library still. It's called Kraya, and it, mm -hmm. think of it, like, um like a little mix between starbound and terraria like it's a 2d sandbox Ooh. sort of thing and the maps kind of cut up into sections and you in each section is like a leveled zone and it was a cute little game and the dev just kind of suffered through burnout and stopped developing it and now it's just kind of sitting in early access forever and you know everyone likes to to be like well it's in early access you should have expected it to not deliver or whatever because it's early access it's like yeah but like that's kind of scummy and 
Like, with him, I understood where he was coming from. But at the same time, like, don't just... Don't just leave it how it is, because there's so much that is still kind of broken in the game. It's like, it has a lot of features. It is a decent game. He just kind of upped and, and left, and it was it was kind of sad. And now he's working on a new game, and I hope that one works well, but, you know, now it's kind of like, well, is he going to suffer burnout and eventually abandon this one too? Or what what's going to happen with this one? Because once, where... once he's done it once, it sets a precedent that he may or may not do it again. And I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. He seems like a, a well-meaning guy. I don't know who he is behind the scenes. I know he does some streams on Twitch about, you know, him actually developing his new game. And it's like Terraria meets Factorio Satisfactory. It's, it's a 2D factory game. But with, like, the Kraya art style. And I wish him all the best, but, you know, now that that skepticism is there... Yeah, and there's, like... I guess uh, someone mentioned it's strange because big companies just been putting out bad, unfinished games. Like, you fix it in post, but then half the people aren't playing anymore. That's exactly what happened Yeah, like, well, if you ship a bad product, people are gonna drop it pretty fast. It doesn't matter yep. if you fix it in post, because it's like, yeah, sure, you might fix it in a couple of months, but it's that's not exactly fun right now. Saying. Yeah, that's exactly what they're saying, too. It's like, uh, by then, half the people aren't playing anymore, and that's exactly what's happening with a bunch of games. Mm -hmm. Where, like, they'll release it, it'll be bad, and then they'll finish it, and it, by then, ev like, like, 50% of people are gone. They're just no longer playing because a better game that has finished their product has come out. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's kind of why people have flocked to Power World lately, is because the Pokemon games have kind of been going down in quality lately, and now, you know, this Pokemon adjacent game comes out and is actually pretty good. Mostly feature complete. In early access, yes, but they do have a clear roadmap, and they do seem committed to actually delivering on their promises, at least in my opinion. Who knows how that's gonna go? Apparently a report came out earlier, uh, like either today or just like recently, this week-ish, within the last few days, that the Power World devs don't even know what to do with all the money that they've earned from yeah, the game. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I retweeted it, I was like, suffering from success. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> like... God. The <laughs> comments are funny too. People are like, oh, you can know, if they don't know what to do with the money, they can always give it to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No Man's Sky did it before it was cool. Yeah, I know. And now everyone wants to follow No Man's Sky because No Man's Sky did it. And it's like, no, you can't be No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, again, is a very special case. And then all the other games want to go. A lot of games ruin their own game by going to the live service thing. Yeah, that too. Oh my god. Yeah, I like um, the Suicide Squad. Game. Oh no! We don't talk about that. Oh, I should have given you that. Ah. Oh, well. uh. The Titanic uh, girl. I think maybe you would have appreciated it more. I don't know. <laughs> It boosts health and regeneration, and I think because you're squishy, probably would have been better for you. Nah, it's okay. I'll survive. It's, yeah, it's uh... Okay. What was it? I saw this in a webtoon of all places. Um, like... Or, not a webtoon. It was a book on... Wattpad. And then it was semi-echoed in a webtoon, where, uh, the... You can stack up defense, but damage will always outscale it. But if you have 100% dodge, then you take no damage at all, and it's free. Huh. That, that's basically the principle of it. <laughs> so if you're really agile, you take no damage, and it's a lot better than just stacking defense. Hmm. Uh, you can press the button. We don't no. talk about Suicide Squad could have just That game was atrocious. Mm. I never wanna see another game like that ever again. <laughs> it 
Isn't that just Starbound Kraya? Uh, no, there's no, like, traveling to other worlds or whatever, but it's got kind of that, like, zoomed in, uh, ad adjacent art style to it. But no, it's, it's not really Starbound. I okay, we're just standing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just catching up on the chat. No, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I was just standing here too, because I was reading chat. The too. funny part about Pal World is that it's more like Ark than Pokemon. And I didn't even like Ark. Like, I found Ark way too grindy, but Pal World looks to be, like, you know, grind, but not too much grind to where it turns you off as fast as Ark sort of thing. But again, like, I haven't played it. I'm gonna get it, and I am gonna play Power? it, but I'll probably wait for it to be 1.0. What, Powered? Yeah. It's still you not got... 1.0? No. It's an wow, early access. Okay. It's gonna be in early access for a while. Uh, well, the rusty chest it. is up there. I saw that. Do you have a key? No, oh, I, I have don't. the key. You have the key. I have the key. That's why I pinged it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't open him. <laughs> what? Kidding. It's a free item. It's a war. Oh, horn. it's a horrible it's... item. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh. But at maybe least I should have just free? left it closed. <laughs> <laughs> Not as grindy as Ark, but still really grindy. Yeah, I figured. But it's like it's also Pokemon with guns. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure there's ways to make the grind more fun. I liked Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I promise I'm kidding, even my taste isn't that bad. Okay, I was You about better say, be I very careful, say, HJJ. You are walking say, on the some fact that thin that, ice. The fact that that game literally just... Oh my gosh. It, uh. Do, because the game was so bad, the Arkham games... All the Arkham games saw a spike in player playership, player activity. It was so bad. Yeah. It was actually so bad. <laughs> I never want to see them make a game like that ever <sighs> again. See, and originally, the... I heard it was supposed to be like, it was supposed to be non light service. It was supposed to be an actual like storyline, but then they were forced to change it to a uh, to a live service game. Yeah. Which is what I mean by like all these games coming out live service. Literally see, and the worst games. part about it i'd say like in my opinion beyond like all the writing decisions and all the gameplay decisions and it being life service or whatever is the fact that it reminds me of like spider-man spider-man yeah the the spider-man game spider-man 1 spider-man 2 the... oh okay okay like the one the newer ones or the older ones the newer ones oh like, it has that same vibe, and it's not like, you know, cartoonish vibe, because yeah, they're both like comic book um, games or whatever, but it's like, it reminds, it reminded me of the Spider-Man games so much that it's just like, why would I play this when I could just play Spider-Man? Right? Well, that's the other thing that I'm realizing. There's a lot of games coming out, they all just end up being trash, and then people come and realize, why am I playing this game? Yeah, it they're all like copy paste too, or mo most often they look copy paste or they feel copy paste. Yeah, and like they just like... lifted the art style from from Spider Man and dropped it into Suicide Squad. They they took you know life service elements from like other games that do it semi well and made it worse. They they take I these really these co op that... shooter elements and they make it worse, you know. Yeah, I really think that, like, they could have had a good game if they just, they just actually, like, you know, focused on the game and stuff yeah. like that. But instead of making it, like, a live service and stuff like that, because I think that ruins some of the story. And it, it's just, the story, for me, a lot of people just enjoy the story. Like, if a game is meant to be a story-based game and you ruin the entire story, what's the point of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Uh... What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, just... Things happening on second monitor that are drawing my attention. 
The benchmark is Toontown. Would grind on Toontown be more fun than this in most modern games? It is. I haven't played Toontown. Toontown is so good. I play Toontown. I played it on stream today, actually. Fun fact. I That's what saw, I was yeah. And it's 100% free. It's a community made game that is 100% free. No paywalls, no none of that. Uh, Did you and... see that the pirate devs are thinking about moving back the paywall? I did not see that. Where they are did they, they are it? thinking about moving back the paywall. I think it was like an Appmaplex tweet a little bit ago. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't trust really anything Appmaplex says at this I don't, point. I don't remember a whole lot of the details, but that was news that I saw, and it's like, not only are they going to increase the level cap for Pirate, but they're going to move the paywall back? Like, what? Yeah, so the, the level me? cap I knew about, the level cap I already knew about, that's been a thing that's been in the work for a while. I mean, uh, I'd be he, shocked if they actually, like, do move back the, you know, the paywall. I'm pretty sure the they will The paywall... Won't. I know that DC is, when I asked him about it before, he said that is something on his agenda that he wants to do. However, uh, however, you know, he said at the time when he, I asked him this, he said that the technology for it wasn't there at the moment, but it is something <laughs> he does want to do. Well, maybe I'll have to look into to Toontown one of these days. Toontown's so fun. I play Corporate Clash. I 100% recommend Corporate Clash over Rewritten. Alright. But that's me, you know. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We will hey, see. You should, ask, uh, you should ask Fairy Queens about it. Her server has a Toontown section and people there are very helpful about it. Let's kill this loser! Yeah, shoot me with that laser. I have leech on, loser. <laughs> I'm frozen. Purple Clash game is rise up. I know it's it's actually so fun. A small but really powerful community, surprisingly. Let's see, what is this? Gore's tome. It's money. Do you need that or do I want that? You take it. Okay. Chance to kill, drop, uh, nothing good. Like, I want to get back into ESO. ESO, what's that? I'll just go online. Oh, no, if you play that, uh, 100% play with me, please. Yeah, it would take like a day to install all the updates and stuff that's happened since last I actually played it. It probably it's would for become... me too, because I have to reinstall it. But it's become a super massive game. It's insane. Yeah, and but, I like I want to play it, but I want to play it with friends. I don't want to play it by myself. It's just yeah, feels... like, I want to. I also want to play it. I want to play it with friends. I also don't want to like tank everyone else's internet trying to update. What do you mean? Oh uh, yeah, I guess like that's fair. Do you not have like super great download speeds? Or something? Nah, like I'd have to plug in the internet. I'd have to make sure that. Um, like, not a whole lot of other people are on the network, otherwise I tank all their stuff because I'm taking all the resources. Yeah, the internet in my house is not great. I wish it was better. However, it's what we got, and we're kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Well, I hope one day you get to re-download it, and that, you know, if you decide to play it, let me know. I'd love to play it with you. Of course. Maybe I'll I've do it as part of another uh, themed stream month one day mm -hmm. i mean like it's just it's just i've never played it much that's the thing and that, because i didn't have really anyone to play with much but i i did get to like i don't remember where i got actually but i did get decent in it and it's like you know i just enjoyed it did you meet darian i don't remember i the uh do you have the shimmering isles dlc the Shimmering Isles, what? DLC. I don't think I have any DLC. No. Well, then, yeah, you probably... <laughs> you probably not met Darren. Darren is a... He's my favorite character. He also kind of ruined Skyrim for me. But through no fault of his own. 
<laughs> so you're like, you're like he's my favorite character. Ruined the game for me, but my favorite character. Not his fault, but yes. <laughs> A bittersweet friend. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what he is. Oh, uh, well, I learned something. Don't touch that green thing. Yeah. Well, there's a credit card here. Ooh. You need to buy it, but... Yeah, there's a credit card here. No, no, I'm on my way. <laughs> Go on ahead. You can take it, because I like my equipment. I have the capacitor. Yeah, just take the credit card for now. Shimmering Isles is the best DLC ever made. It's it's okay. It's you know what? Good. Uh, I guess I'll have to buy it then. Look, How much is it? To, uh, I don't remember because when I got the game, it was kind of bundled in. Maybe I have it then. I gotta double check. Oh uh, man, New Year update dropped. The update two terabytes now. <laughs> I love you. <this. laughs> Yeah, ESO's so fun. Yeah, honestly. ESO's great. I just wish they compressed some of their files, you know? I wish it, Can you, like, manually do that? Or do they not allow that? I... I don't know. I bet they don't allow I'd probably it. have to see if I could just move all the game files onto my second hard drive, because that is more space on it. Uh... The Oblivion DLC? I'm not sure. Oblivion DLC? No, I think that's the, um... The more recent one? Look, I would check to see what DLCs I have, but... These people won't leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Are the enemies? Totally me stone? not pulling up my Steam library in the middle of a risk of rain. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, I'm a pro gamer. I can look at things and be in mortal danger. OG Shivering Isles? No. There's still stuff in the shop to buy, Cookie. No, I'm still what? Stuff in the shop to buy. Still stuck in the shop? Yeah, there's still stuff in the shop. I know, Over I know. There. I was fighting out some monsters. Ah. <laughs> they were, they were kind of, uh, not leaving me alone. It was that burning thing. That burning licky licky that was after me again. The burning licky. That's great. I'm gonna call them the Licky Lickies from now on. Well, that's a Pokemon. I guess, uh... Hmm. No, Licky Licky works. Whatever. Nah. Licky Lickies. Who cares? It's not like we're gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Nintendo knocks in your door. It's like, how <laughs> dare you name them I, Licky Lickies? I hear you're talking about Pokemon in another game. Hmm? How could you? You're only allowed to talk about Pokemon and Pokemon. DLC, I have... Oh, they thought they were we were talking about the OG Shivering Isles. Yeah, no, so I have the Tamriel Unlimited Gold Edition, though I think that's just a, a special tack on to the base game, so it's not a huge thing. I have Somerset, that's it, and then I have Morrowind. Somerset, and Morrowind. Somerset and Morrowind were bundled together when I got the game, so I've always kind of had them. Somerset I got the game for free. Somerset they... is the uh, the homeland of the High Elves. Hmm. I know. Uh, I might just get the ESO, uh, like <laughs> the ESO membership, just to get it all. <laughs> Uh, I'm good. I'm good with Morrowind and Shimmering Isles. Morrowind gives you the Dark Brotherhood, and 
the and Somerset Shimmering Isles. Uh, I want to say Shimmering Isles is. I the, think I've been to Somerset before. Yeah, the Shimmering Isles is just a, an alternate name for them, I believe. I'm a little bit outdated on my Elder Scrolls lore. Somerset, I know I've been to. That's the place with the volcano, right? The no, that's Morrowind. Morrowind, okay. Morrowind has Red Mountain, and as far as I'm aware, Red Mountain's the only uh, volcano in Tamriel. Where is this? Queen? They're underneath the floor. What? They're down here. Where? I must move you here. Huh? Come here! Oh, I see. Why are they there, stinky queen? Get out of there. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Hey, stop spitting at me. That's not hot. But Somerset is... Okay, so the thing with Darren is he pops up twice. Once in the main story. And once in Somerset. And Somerset is is specifically what ruined Skyrim for me. Hmm. But the uh, uh, the main storyline kind of it leads up into Somerset. But if you have the Somerset DLC, it starts you on the Somerset uh, story path instead of the base game story path, which is kind of annoying because then you meet. Uh, Darren 2 first, and then you run into Darren 1. Uh, that is, if you complete the Somerset quest first, and not the... and not go to the main quest and, and start on that. Which, you're more than likely going to not do it like that, and you are going to finish the Somerset quest first, because that's just kind of how it's structured, and it's a little annoying. However... Sir, where are you going? Me? Yeah. I'm taking the long way back up, apparently. So, I would suggest you do the the main game first with Mana Marco and all that, and then... I remember them, Mana Marco. And then Marco. go to Somerset. And do the Somerset thing, and you will understand a little bit better about Darren's story. I swear, I remember, I remember Somerset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was yawning. I swear I remember Somerset. I can't be crazy. I'm not crazy. There were no rubber rats. There was no rubber room. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What, the whirling? That's the magma worm. And he's Did coming. Did I just take that? <laughs> no, I got it. Don't no. worry. What am I giving up? Oh my god, why is there a magma worm? He spawned in the distance. And he has come to say hello. What is it with you and NPCs named Darren? Oh yeah! What? I kind of didn't realize that until now. Thank you, HJJ. I don't know. Blame the games. Oh, wait, wait, what? So in... So there's Darren in ESO, and then there's Darren Whisperwind in Wizard 101, who oh my gosh. I am his number one fan. <laughs> yeah, what is it with you and Darren? Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely it's destroyed by not this my game. fault! Fate. Fate has ideas for me, and I guess those ideas involve characters named Darren. And I am 100% okay with that, because the Darrens... Darrens tend to be cool beans. Where'd he go? He's dead. He be dead. Oh, that thing almost <laughs> Go smush. Yes, Somerset is the home of the High Elves, the pretentious pricks. Are they the one that summoned the, um... Summoned that giant skeleton thing that ends up, like, 
going on to lose. What skeleton thing? Gotta be a little mm. bit more specific than that. There's this like giant skeleton, ancient skeleton they summon to to fight off the army. No. And I don't I don't think so. What about Duncan and Morgant? Hmm. Pass. Uh <laughs> this isn't Smasher Bass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm passing Duncan because I'm pretty sure he's a minor. <laughs> yeah, I if, and then more if Gant, Duncan I'm were passing if Duncan were legal age, totally smash, but he isn't, so pass. Morganth is uh, horrible. Morganth literally talks about skinning people alive. I think I'm I, gonna pass. <laughs> I would not let her five feet within my children. My children being my pets. She literally talks about like skinning the wizard and bring it to bring the skin of the wizard. Hey, it's to, to her show that she's hardcore. All badass female antagonists talk about skinning people alive. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pastime. <laughs> yeah, totally not speaking from experience or anything. What are you going to do if your new co-worker is named Darren? Oh no, I'm going to have to try really hard to not like fangirl and be like, Hey, you know, I you're also in two video games I really like, and there's absolutely no correlation whatsoever. Uh... I do so little damage, even though I attack so fast. Never fear, I am here. I don't do a whole lot better. Yeah, we both don't do a lot of damage, do we? Nah. Yeah. I will make you oh choose between Belladonna Crisp or Dahlia Falmea. Ooh boy. Belladonna Crisp, I'd have to choose. Which mommy do you want? <laughs> choose your mommy. <laughs> It's like your <laughs> Pokemon choose your fighter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would. I actually don't like either of them. If I had to Neither pick, do I. if I had to pick, it would be Falmea, just because she's a little bit chiller. No, she's not. She's literally. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. What if I said my name was Darren? <laughs> uh... It's like you get you get an insurance broker and their name is just Darren. No, dude! If the universe keeps giving me people named Darren, I think this is a sign that Darren. You're gonna end be... up marrying someone named Darren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So one of the Darren's is going to be if my future husband, and uh, I would like it to be a fictional Darren, but unfortunately those robots have not been invented yet, or, you know, portals through the uh, dimensions of our universe. You're just going to, like, going to try to get married one day, but you're going to be like, requirements to marry me must, must be, be named, named Darren. Darren. <laughs> yeah. If your name isn't Darren, legally change it. Yeah, number one, must be named Darren. Number two, uh, is tall. Oh, Num number three, can play video games with me. And number four, if you are not an anime boy, don't talk to me. <laughs> I need still- I uh, see, like, I've just recently started watching Avatar. The original. Ooh, yay. The original's and great. I like it. I like it so far. I can- but when I watch the original, I've come to see why the adaptation ones are not as good at all. Yeah. Unfortunately, Avatar's one that's really hard to adapt in, like, a one movie or one... Yeah, I Yeah, like, you can't that, just do it in one like... movie or one miniseries. You gotta really, like, kind of do it like the show. And then at that point, you're just remaking the show. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I've noticed at the same time... It's like, um... Oh my god, I'm up in the air so high. Did that break my fall? It did, okay good. The roll broke my fall. But um... 
I've noticed that like because of the way of the movements and the silly little things that happen, it's really hard to put that in a live action one because those silly little things in live action look extremely stupid. Exactly. And so that but then at the same time not putting any of it in it makes it problematic where it looks too serious and takes away from his own character. So that's the real problem with Avatar at the moment because like, you know, if you I've heard a lot of people say Aang's just no fun, but the parts he was having fun were also very unrealistic <laughs> and extremely hard to to make um you know a thing in a uh, live action. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing with like just adapting animations in general is it's really hard to do for live action. And it, at some point I just can't help but sit down and wonder why are you so committed to turning everything into a live action adaptation? Just that leave like, the original just cartoon leave alone. alone. You know, and I, yeah. it, you know, some people are like, but you know, uh, animations for kids and and live adaptations, like, you know, live you actions for adults. It's like, no, no, that's wrong. You're wrong. You you just you're just salty that like you haven't found an animation you like, or you're a closeted animation enjoyer. Like, I think uh, it's great that they try to make an adaptation, but at the same time, it's like. It's horrible, because they did it horribly. Exactly. And even the writers of Avatar walked away because there were creative differences. And I'm like, at that point, that was the first red flag. Mm-hmm. I've actually, One Piece is good. I think that was one of the only ones The I One was Piece one was okay. I saw the first couple of episodes of it. It was fine. I enjoy the anime a lot more, though. I'm on my way to buy all that. Don't worry. Which ones yep. do you need? Uh, probably the shield, and you can take everything else. Here you go. There's the shield. Thank you. I'll take the scythe because I already have one. Uh, what's the secret one gonna be? Oh, double jumps. Is there more shops? Yeah. Uh. The new one missed is that they made Aang get frozen, not his fault, so most things don't make sense. Yeah, exactly. I feel oh, like God, Netflix wait. adaptation doesn't really understand the show at all. No, it doesn't doesn't feel that way. And like I haven't watched it, but I've seen reviews of it and the, from the clips that they've played, it's just it looks very soulless. Yeah, that's the other problem. Yeah. <laughs> see, it's... Aang, Aang in the entire like series just wants to live his own life and have fun. But when, like, you take the fun out of Aang, then it really kills the character. Yeah, exactly. I agree, they don't understand the characters. I get it's an adaptation, but they didn't adapt the characters at all. No, they didn't. Like, do you remember the whole, like, we're gonna tone down Sokka's, uh, uh, sexism? Sexism, yeah. It's like, do you <laughs> realize it's a core... Like <laughs> it's like, it's a core part of his character, too. Like, you can't just and take it, it out and... For, like, I notice his sexism only lasts for really like three episodes, unless that there's more episodes that he does that. Then it's different. Well, I feel like it kind of becomes more subtle, and then it fades away over time. Yeah, the first couple of episodes, it's kind of apparent, but then, you know, he deals with it. He deals with it over time. It's a gradual character progression, right. and and that's a good thing. You should be happy to show character growth. Yeah. But instead, if you're taking away that character growth, like it's just because you're afraid people won't like it. That's the other thing Avatar did. They did that knowing there was the fear of people won't like it, but they did that to show character growth in the future. Yeah, exactly. It it just doesn't There's make sense. There's no rain without risk. Remember <laughs> that uh, there was a comment made in my server about something or, or another. It was related to, like, writing layers to characters. It's like, you know, unfortunately people don't like layers to characters anymore. It's like, no, I don't think people don't like the layers to characters specifically. It's just that the writers are not putting in the layers. 
therefore you're not seeing layers. Everyone's very one dimensional and straightforward <laughs> and kind of toned down. And because writing layers is hard. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of the writers in Hollywood right now don't like doing hard things because they're incompetent. But I mean, oh, hey, I would I do any better? Marginally, probably. I've only written like three scripts in my entire life and I had help with those too. So I'm one to speak, but point being, it's okay to write a character with flaws and layers and, you know, still make them interesting because that's what people want. <laughs> they want complex, realistic characters, not just like, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm a powerful girl boss whammon with uh, all of the power who doesn't need no man. That's not a what? character. Yeah. See, every character should have their flaws, and it should show that the character grows and overcomes these flaws because that's good character growth. But when you take those flaws away and they just kind of feel emotionless, it's really bad. Exactly. And then, like, uh, you know, I like how someone said he gets the sexism beat out of him. Oh, I'm standing on the orange! Yeah, orbs. he does! He basically gets the sexism beat out of him, and that's great. That, that was a great scene. Look at scene. me, Storm! I'm standing on the orbs! Ooh, yay! Oh, uh... Oh, you're all the way up there. Look at me, Storm! I'm probably about to die! <laughs> nope, nope, I'm fine. Ooh, we each get, uh, empathy course. Yay! What is this? Recruit a pair of soulless probes. Ugh. Feel free to hit the button. Button hit. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I like that scene. I really like that. Where like they beat the crap out of him. It's humbling. Oh, you left a scythe on the ground. That was for you. Hmm. I'll be fine. What's one scythe gonna mean? I know <laughs> it means like literally everything, but yeah. Ooh. You would like the shrimp. The shrimp? Where? Over here. Oh my god! Oh, I'm don't dying. run that direction. No, 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 no. There is a mushroom there. The same mushroom. J run I away, swear disengage. Cookie. Cookie. Oh my god. Disengage. No. The same mushroom that killed me. Oh, oh, wait. Build up. I'm These coming. Guys, they're shooting at me. They're bullying me. Wait, there's a grandfather that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I see it. Hmm. You're up there. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna. <laughs> no, we just snipe him from over here. It's fine. It'll be very, very safe and effective. We just need to make sure that your shots hit. Sure. Take it. Definitely, my shots will hit. <laughs> I want to <laughs> say you shoot a lot straighter than I do. Uh, let's just say that's controller aim. <laughs> that's the aim assist. <laughs> well, just don't go over there until he's dead. Who? The grandparent. Can I shoot him from here? You should be able to. Probably not through the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't call me out like that. I don't see any numbers. Maybe yeah. I gotta get a little closer. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Just opening up some chests. Delicate watch, I'll take that. Oh, I like shoot. delicate watches. No. What? It's this man. Whoa, whoa, man. Man! Wait. Are you afraid of man? Not fun man, no. 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 Oh, it's that dude. Yeah. Not fun man. Don't worry, he's still he'll die. What does he even do? Um, he explodes and kills you. <laughs> Shocker, everything wants to kill you. 
stupid lizard. Is he Where dead? Is he? <gasps> He's dead, yes. It's down. Thank you. I don't like that man. Why? <laughs> He's mean. He kills you. Oh, I should have recycled that. Ugh. That's one fun guy. What in the world is that? What is he doing? He's popping. Don't get close. What does popping mean? Uh, that. Whatever he just did. His area of effect that kills everything. Oh, he stored a rock. What is that bubble he's doing? Oh. Am I hitting him from here? There you go. Yeah, he's dead. Whatever, he's dead. Borag's Opus. Yes, uh, shoot fast. It's fun. Then go burr. Pretty much. Petition uh, to change fungi fun. to enjoyable dudes. Red whip. Well, death mark. Do you need a death mark? Nope. You can take it. Okay. Uh, no, I'll just I'll keep the bongos. Bongo, bongo, bongo. That's uh, horrible. I am so sick of this game's soundtrack. I have listened to it way too much. But I don't <laughs> want to put on any other music because I don't have any of that downloaded. I would have to play it off the internet and I don't want to ruin the stream. You're fine. Am I though? Am I really? No. <laughs> when the, are we ever fine? The FBI is coming for us, folks. Oh my god! Don't... <laughs> The FBI is coming for him, folks! Oh my gosh, I didn't even pay attention to them. I didn't see them at first. Okay, let's try this again. One more time. Berserker's Pauldron. Uh, That's attack speed. Okay, take that. Uh, there's some stuff back here. You can take these. I saw. Yeah. We're at again. You said back to where? The down to your left. Down here. I saw. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Okay. And a piece of meat. <laughs> Gamers are a national security threat. You never know. You never know. Hey, the FBI is partnering with uh, game devs to crack down on uh, extremist behavior in gaming, so... <laughs> I mean... Better watch out. I am going to find your wizard and say hi. <laughs> Hi, FBI agent that's watching this stream. I hope you're having a fun time. My name is Walter White. I live on... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You yoinked it. Mine. Numb. <laughs> War Thunder players? <laughs> yeah. Our friend is streams War Thunder. Very nice person. Fortunately, somebody pad came into a stream one time. It was like shouting out Nazi stuff. Oh. And she went, nope, that's not okay here. And banned them immediately. I mean, yeah. No, but like, the, have you, do you know how many government documents are leaked in the War Thunder community on a regular basis? 
A lot more than that. Yes, like. and it makes me very anxious. Yeah, Dwarf then has gotten into trouble over that before. Yeah. Because, like, some of the stuff is apparently extremely, like, you know. Oh, yeah, like, basically any schematic, or, uh, army schematic, whatever, it's classified information, and it should not be released in Discord servers. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm ready for it. Let's go ahead and hope it's not a grandparent. Be prepared for grandparents. Please do not be grandparents. No, it's Souls okay. Control Unit. Yes. We do like I... this. Do I Souls Control Unit? Yeah, but that's also like, why do the War Thunder players get to leak uh, classified information? And I don't. I mean, it's not like I know any classified information, but... Because wizard players are more scarier. <laughs> wizard players have no classified information to leak. It's also because they're like, they're more unhinged. They're like, no, 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 no. We don't mess with them. <laughs> <laughs> they leak it. It's whatever. It's their own problem. One done. Actually, I think we've killed three, four now. Final one, I think. Yep. There we go. We're good. What are the Will a wisp. That is a good point. If wisp, if uh, wizard classified documents, the they would one. not be classified at all for long. Yeah. Look, if the government's been hiding magic from us this entire time, I have a feeling that Wiz players would be the first to know. The I'm second would be the Harry Potter uh, community. <laughs> I'm Oplex being like, the government has magic and hasn't been no! telling them. <laughs> At Oplex, calm down. Next thing you know, this account has been suspended. It's because people who play War Thunder are usually in the military. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that. I'm aware of that. I mean, hey, they gotta get in their basic training somehow. They want to make the realistic tanks in games and hear the, the schematics to the real-life equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any whiz heads in government positions? Uh, yeah, there's 100 percent a whiz head in government positions. 100 percent. I will neither confirm nor deny. Don't mess with real life magic. No, do not mess with real life magic. Real life magic is so. And I know you probably don't mean, like, real-life magic in the sense of, like, you know, the, that childlike wonder or whatever. I'm pretty sure you mean it in, like, the, I want to turn myself into a dragon and fly and yada yada. Unpredictable. Yeah, but, like, just the, that regular old, like, not necessarily childlike innocence, but, yeah, I do, I do classify this as magic, like, certain beliefs in fairy tales and stories and all that sort of stuff that magic only lasts for so long and and people especially kids kids are very very brutal like the, some people just don't understand that once you take the magic away you kind of ruin it to, for them forever yeah and it's really annoying. It's hard to get the magic back. Too. Yeah. Like when I was younger, I had a much more imaginative mind, and I, I actually like played a game with my brother. Right? We I made this game with my brother involving cars, and mm -hmm. like toy cars, and it would be this whole entire like I guess in a way this whole entire Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing, and I didn't know what Dungeons and Dragons was at the time. But anyways, I played it with him, and every night we would, like, just lay in our bunk beds, being like, oh, you know, wanna 
you know, want to play the game, want to play the game, and we just play the game all night. And then, you know, we we eventually stopped playing it, and my imagination started slowly dying out. And it's still good, but it's not anything like what it used to be. And, oh my god, it's just, it hit me hard one day when my brother was like, I wish we still played that game. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that hit me hard. <laughs> I would say more of, uh, for the longest time I believed in Santa. Still kind of do. Uh, children, if you believe in Santa, uh, please avert your eyes. Santa's out there. Santa's watching over you. Please be nice this year. Otherwise, he will come find you and put that coal in your stocking. Have, have a good night. I don't know why you're still up this late. <laughs> You should go now. Anyway, so, I used to believe in Santa for a long time. Still mm -hmm. kinda do, but it's, you know, again, it's not the same anymore. When I was in- but... when I was in Japan, I had this friend group- well, friend group in heavy quotation marks. They didn't really accept me as a friend or anything. I just kinda hung out with them. They tolerated me. It was fine. And then... That first Christmas, I mentioned something about Santa. And apparently that offended them so much that they started sending me articles on why Santa's not real and that my parents are lying to me. And I, and this all happened on Christmas Eve and I went to my mom and I broke down and I'm like, Mom, are, are they, are, is what they're saying true? And, gr and keep in mind, this was ninth grade. I was in high school by this point. Mm -hmm. And I think I was more hurt just by the massive betrayal and these people that I thought I trusted, even though I knew I didn't really actually trust them a whole lot. But I, they were the only people I had, so they were kind of my only option. And on Christmas Eve, no, no less. No, Santa's real, don't worry, kids. <laughs> he's, he's watching. He's always watching. But, Santa's real. His name is Mr. Ho. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I went to my mom and I asked her, Hey mom, is what they're saying true? And she replied with the, basically the same sentiment I shared. Like, this, you know, the magic is as real as long as you believe in it. And that is a fair and accurate statement. Yeah. So, so long as you believe that the magic is real, it will be real until it goes away. Because it will at some point go away, and that's just due to growing up and living life, and it kind of sucks, but that's just kind of how it goes. But, yeah, it got... <laughs> I, I had a bit of a miffed Christmas that year. Aww. Uh huh. So you know, if people say, "Hey, I believe in this or that or whatever," and it's, it's some f weird fantastical story, and it's not actively hurting them, just let them do their thing. Because you know, coming out and being like, "No, it's not real. You should stop believing it. Stop being a kid." It, yada yada yada. Like. The, the minute you start shaming them for believing the things that they like to believe and want to believe and have believed since they were young kids, you have actively destroyed that person's whole, like, thing in their mind. You, you basically took a nuke and, and nuked their entire imaginary world, or at least a good part of it. And they will feel miserable. And I know, because I felt miserable. I felt very miserable. And guess what? They didn't care. What well, they... Do you still talk to them or no? No. I basically well, cut true. all ties after that. That was my breaking point. I don't think my, they're... My they breaking were point was... Going back to school after winter break oh, and being like, hey, I demanded apology and they were like, what apology? What do we do? And I was just like, no, I'm out. You clearly do not have my best interest at heart. I wish you all the best. I am never talking to you ever again. And I stuck by it because I am that petty. 
I like that you went like, I admit it, I'm petty. But <laughs> yep, I mean, hey, it wasn't the first time I did it. Probably won't be the last. All right, where do we go now? This little we portal. We are going yep. to the beams of light and then up. Only up. Yep. So, you know, A, please don't ruin the magic for other people because, again, the magic's very fragile and it will fade away eventually. It will probably just take a little bit longer. Uh, but you don't want to destroy someone's dreams. And then also, if you do still have that magic left in you, that childlike wonder, uh, protect it for as long as possible. Because it will go away eventually. And that's just kind of part of life. And that, that, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's fight a boss now. <laughs> Finally, we got to the moon. Yep. In the one run, we were the, like, do a run for fun. The last run of the, the night. The run, we were like, let's do one for fun. Yeah. I was we totally, managed to get to the moon. Totally expecting oh to die like God, half an hour health. ago. My health. My heart. Which is probably why I'm still clinging on to Wiz so much. Is it cause the map? Do you enjoy Wiz? Like, see, there's nothing wrong with enjoying Wiz. I'm gonna be honest. No. Nothing is wrong with enjoying Wiz. No, As long as you're enjoying not. yourself, I will always support it. However, me personally, I personally just don't enjoy Wiz as much as I used to anymore. I still would play the game with friends. 100% I would play the game with friends. However, by myself, the magic for myself is dead and it's mainly because i've been playing for 15 years yeah I've been playing like there's still paywall. so much of that like you know childish magic locked up in it like you know that's i feel like that's just kind of the basis for nostalgia is yeah. that is that old magic hanging around that you just don't want to let go of but then you've stuck with the thing for so long that you eventually become super jaded and, you know, start wearing these rose-tinted glasses. It's like, yeah, it, it, you know, this thing was better when I was 15. It's like, yeah, everything was better when you were 15 because you had no concept of, like, taxes or mortgages or driving a car and going to work in a 9 to 5. It was also, like, back then, not knowing everything that was going on behind the scenes with Wiz also made it feel more magical. Yeah, that too. It just felt like a world you could get lost in, and now it's like, you know, you're <laughs> you're watching the devs on Twitter, and it's like, what the hell are they right, doing? And, and then like, you're you interacting know, with other and, people, and it's like, what the hell are these people doing? And right, and you're you know playing what the happens game behind the scenes. And you're so like, like you know if someone does something bad. <laughs> Yeah, and you're 35 and you haven't moved on yet. It's like, why am I still playing this game? Yeah. And I, I enjoy, like, see, that's the thing, though. I enjoy the people who... That, that's probably my biggest thing. It's not the people at all. It's more the game. But the but the people that play the game that I've met, I wouldn't trade for the world. I would... Like, the people I've met in this community, I don't care if I don't play anymore. I still consider them my friend, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. They are honestly so nice. That includes you, Storm. Uh, oh, thank you. And that includes you, Cookie, on my list. Thank you. But yeah, it's like... I don't know, it's... There's part of me that's like, it's a bittersweet thing, because without Wiz, I never would have met all of you. And yeah, so, exactly. It's, you and, know, the memories we share and stuff like that. I mean, you know, it's a little bit more complicated our enjoyment of Wiz, but, you know, point being, it's that I still feel like it's the the fundamental we still have that magic that we want to keep that's in the game and right. we don't want to let it go and, it, and I don't necessarily want to say, like, at some point we gotta let it go, like, you don't have to. It's but just gonna get more and, it's just gonna get more and more frustrating over time. Mm. Ooh, mm. ow. That's not good. Don't worry, Cookie. I will try and avenge you. You got the storm. I believe in you. I guess the big thing is that you should enjoy the game and not force yourself to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. 
if you force yourself, you're definitely not gonna have fun, and you're gonna ruin the magic a lot faster. And unfortunately, that's where it got to be the point for me, because like, I I would just kind of force myself to enjoy the game, and that's problematic. You should never do that. It, that's that's a one-way road to literally burning yourself out so fast. It's like uh, if whenever you do writing, right? Yeah. You don't try to force yourself to write something you don't enjoy. No, because right? then it's going to come out bad. Yeah. And you're going to feel and horrible you're for burn it. Out yeah. of it. You're not going to enjoy it. You're going to hate it. And which it makes you not want to do it. <laughs> Precisely. So that's why I'm like, you know, if you're going to do something, have fun doing it. Otherwise, what's the point? There we go. One more turn. You got the storm. Ah. He's immune. Dang <laughs> it. Yeah, don't worry. I got him. <laughs> what That's the heck? easy. What the heck? How did you do that? He stops going immune um just slightly before he goes into his attack phase. So you could just start attacking him the minute the immunity goes away. It's very quick. Yeah, but doesn't he have all your powers? Yeah, he does, but if that's only if you let him attack you. You know, if he's dead, he can't do anything at all. Bro got melted? That's what I'm saying. For real? Like, how? How did... No, I don't even know. <laughs> it's risk of rain. You don't need to know. You know, I'm over here trying to become God. I guess I have to beat Storm be to become God. Yo, where does the Risk of Rain PvP? <laughs> Actually, I think, I think we can do that. We can turn on Friendly Fire. That would be so funny. <laughs> like Damn. Eclipse mode. Eclipse Ultra Hard mode <laughs> with Friendly Fire. <laughs> oh no. We turned it into one big competition. We just try to troll each other by killing each other. Yep. Oh. Shoot. I forgot they kill each other. They can, and it's great. Which is helpful, yeah. So is that what that big guy did? The one that you said, oh no, I don't like him? Yeah. The he does big, the same thing where it grows. The a big, big man does up. a similar thing, except the bubble actually follows you. It's not just static. <laughs> All right, good game, Cookie. Good game. We made it to the moon. We made it to the moon. On you the one almost. Moon, on the one time where we were like, nah, let's just do it for fun. <laughs> yeah, you almost made it off the planet. Day hey, okay. <laughs> All right, let's try Risk of Rain Risk PvP of rain. gets one That's shot by Railgun. Railgun's of... amazing. We do not diss on Railgunner. She is, she's cool. Risk of Rain, that's why they call her Storm. Storm. I love uh -huh. that. That's small. Uh -huh. There's a storm of brewing. Risk of Rain. <laughs> Press space, hit skip, or whatever button. Skip. Oh! <laughs> he unlocked something. I love dying. Me? Yep. What did I unlock? You unlocked the voodoo doll. Uh, what? That's a. What is that? Voodoo doll. It's an equipment that triggers on death effects. Huh. All right. Well, that's Risk of Rain, everyone. <laughs> we went a little over the time I wanted to stop at, but that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I didn't expect us to actually get to the moon. 
<laughs> I thought but we yeah, would I die thought... <laughs> half an hour ago. <laughs> That's what I had a feeling. Like when we got to the moon, I was like, I have a feeling. She didn't expect that we were gonna get no. this far. <laughs> like we we got up to Mythrix and my eyes immediately went to the timer. It's like, oh, we've been playing this for an hour. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Cookie, for being here. If you check, thank you for having me. I if... enjoyed it so much. Of course. If you all check the description down below, you can find the link to Cookie's Twitch. Please go give him a follow. While you're mm -hmm. down there, please also check out Shadowbound on Amazon. Buy and leave a review for it if you can. You can also check out my Substack, where I am writing about the Great War, a historical event that happens in the world of Shadowbound. It it gets updated every Friday before it streams, and it's a good way to get immersed in the world of Shadowbound completely for free. You know, check out Echo. Once again, cover artist, channel artist, please go give her socials some follows, show her some love. And also, if you like this content and would like to be notified of next week's stream, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so very much for being here. I greatly enjoyed reading the chat, playing with Cookie. It's been wonderful. Once again, uh. it is Mixed Game March. So next week will be Skyrim solo. It'll just be me. And then the week Darn. after that, <laughs> it will be... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sometimes I need some time to myself, all right? No, that's fine. I do that, too. <laughs> I am one million percent guilty of uh, just being like, sometimes I need a solo day. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the month will be Gauntlet with Echo. And, you know, I'm actually looking forward to that because Gauntlet's kind of an old game. And I used to play it a lot. Not anymore. So it would be nice to revisit it, finally. And I hope you all have an amazing time zone. And I will see you all same time next week. Goodbye!